some dragons with you. We're going to have to raise the, the tolerance for innuendo, because yeah, otherwise we're not going to make that. it through a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, at the last, previously, you guys had finally um, made it into the tomb of Elgar. Um, you Hang on, do you want to give a brief overview of what has happened in the campaign so far for Rudolph, who is not here present? Oh, yes, for and both Adam. of you. Okay. And for so the I listeners will... of the oh, yes. podcast. For listeners in general. Yes. Okay, so and a summary podcast. of everything that's happened up until now. <laughs> so, it's, How later? so, once upon a time, it's been about a thousand years since an incident. And this incident was the, the defeat of a, a, a being and its army known as the Undying One. And the Undying One was slain by a druidess by the name of Arwenwil, and she had a bunch of disciples with her. Um, the story goes that this um, march of the Undying One's army was heading from north to south, when they encountered a physical barrier of two mountain ranges, forcing them into a bit of a bottleneck. And it was down at this bottleneck that the druidess and her disciples struck. They infiltrated the base, had like a titanic Lord of the Rings battle with the Undying One, and this sort of culminated with Arwen Will plunging her mythic staff of the Evergreens into the Undying One's heart, the star shattered, Arwen Wolf died, but the Undying One was defeated. <coughs> Jet is very excited about this story. He loves it so much. Um, so, with the defeat of the Undying One, the remaining disciples of Ar Arwen Wolf spread out to like dispatch with the rest of the army. And according to legend, this mighty forest sort of grew up around this army, um, and there are a variety of reasons as to why this may have been, but what's quite unique about this forest is it um, regenerates very rapidly. So it like grows very, very quickly, but it does stay within its bounds. We began the adventure in this small town, which is just at the south border of the forest. And this small town is called Elgar's Rest, and it's named after one of the disciples called Elgar, curiously enough, Elgar Earthfist. He was one of the disciples, and according to legend, um, Elgar never actually died. Just one day, you can see by 4a, he sat down on the top of a hill and slowly turned into stone. And now this stone at the top of the hill has become a bit of like a pilgrimage site. So people come here now to like pay their respects and see this allegedly like holy site. The other main business in Elgar's Rest is the lumber mill. Because the forest regenerates really quickly, it's a good source of business. He's really happy about this. What did you, what did you feed him? Have you <laughs> seen the movie um, The Visit? No. With no. the grandma that uh, at a oh, certain time yes. I think she fucks up. Yes. Oh, and the sends her grandkids to, into the oven to clean the oven, dear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, was that, was that the visit? That was a different one. Visit? No, I think that was... Where they send their kids to their grandmother and grandfather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it then... It did happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, here, yeah, won't you go in and clean the back of the oven? Just um, get right in there. Yeah, exactly. Just, the just right in there. <laughs> so, anyway, this is the basic setting. Um, it's, so, it's been about a thousand years since mm -hmm. that incident. The forest is pretty fucking dangerous. But, for the most part, there's like an uneasy truce that the sawmill just stays on the periphery and nobody <clears throat> ventures too far in. Why is it too dangerous? Well, there's, all sorts, of, there's all sorts of nasty creatures. creatures, including fey creatures, some of which are like terribly evil, some of which are just weird, but mostly, as long as they're left well enough alone, they leave the town alone. The only person who really goes into the, the forest is Crack, who is a half-orcish druid, a female half-orcish druid, Thank you for reminding me. Yes. I want to hear that. <laughs> um, so there's a variety of different inhabitants in the village. Yeah. That's um, but the players we have, uh, I mean, Father uh, Time Rosemary Bouquet, who is played by Philip, on, on who is the cleric. Uh, I'm on all of a sudden Father Time. Well, you're, you're Father Time, really. <laughs> <laughs> so Rosemary he's like Bouquet. The, he's like the village cleric. Yes. Um, then we have Garlic who is the, the merchant of the town, mm. 
he's a bit of a shyster. She. Mm-hmm. She's a bit of a shyster. Sorry, she's a gnome. Father Time is also a gnome. But male. But a male. Oh yeah. my god, you're and they're, they're related, yeah. Time. Um, and then... <laughs> How did I never notice this before? And, and then, All the jokes! <laughs> oh, no, oh. I'm very, very old. So then Garlic has a sort of uh, a lackey who is Beldegar, who is an Arakokra of indeterminate gender who is basically a bit like the town bicycle and the town drunk. Um, all in one. <laughs> all in bicycle one. because he can be flown. Exactly. He has, this, uh, he has this magnetic, al- he has a magnetic alert. Yeah. It could be no, road. No, he has yeah, a magnetic no, alert no, no. and a charm that people find hard to resist. His Especially when they're drunk. Or he gets out. ridden a and, lot. And yes, essentially, that. you know, if things happen to go missing off of their dresser drawers and end up in Garlic's shop later oh, yeah. on. Sure. Nobody knows why. Yeah. Because nobody but, will admit that he's spending the night with the town drunk. <laughs> Who so happens to be <laughs> feathery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, 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 Initially, I thought it was he was like a taxi, but in any case, yes, <laughs> it's, it's all of, yes, yeah. all, all of, of those amount. metaphors. Wow. Yes, <laughs> you can choose to interpret it as you like. Um, um, hang on, while we Swiss Army break, can I get anyone some cake or some milk? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Here's my plate. Uh, not that. Uh, cake or death, please. Um, cake or death. Okay. Do you um, not know that? Yes. Do you want cake? Right. I thought uh, you said milk tart. tart. <laughs> you want milk tart? <laughs> yes. <laughs> was I the so only one that needed any? Huh? Which one's mine? That was mine. Was it? If you can have it. So, that's the village. Thomas, if you need clean ones. But the um, quiet um, above the microphone. charm of the village is broken okay. up um, a few weeks ago, when two sort of arcane researchers, elderly brothers, arrived at the village trying to investigate Elgar's rest. <coughs> well, they're like middle aged, they're not young. Um, it's no, that's true. You guys are like over 100, so who knows? I can't um, 800, thanks for 800, yeah. So, um, <laughs> but they basically came because they had a suspicion that Elgar actually had a tomb and there were all sorts of possibly valuable, nice goodies in there, including potentially a shard of the Staff of Evergreen. Of which there might be plenty. There might be plenty. It's, nobody knows how many pieces it shattered into. Um, and up until that, nobody ever really thought about the pieces going anywhere other than still in the middle of the forest. So they came into the town and caused a bit of nuisance by their research. Um, there was one that was clearly more of an asshole than the other one. Um, so the asshole was Gawad, and the nice guy was Gawin. Um, Gawad then went into the forest one day because he had a theory about where the tomb was and Gawain, being concerned, asked some of the villagers to go and try and help him and find him. So our brave adventurers went into the forest where the highlight would be that they encountered a host of fey creatures including uh, two ladies, one who professed to be the fairy queen who was Azata and her, um, what you now know to be her lover, who is Frieza, who is like a half-snake angel lady. Um, after a bit of confusion, they did eventually find the tomb of Elgar, and after some searching, um, they encountered Gawad in the tomb, taking the shard of the Staff of Evergreen. But as this occurred, they were confronted by the host of Fey, and a small battle ensued, during which Gawad, utilising this shard of the Staff of Evergreen, which has been referred to as the Bloom Shard, disintegrated the Zata by basically blowing her up into a bunch of rose petals. Oh, there was, there was very special effects as well. Yeah. There were special effects. Here's a rose petal. There is a the rose petal. <laughs> <laughs> In the my diary. I'm going to have to use my hands. So, after this um, kerfuffle, Gawad then disappeared. Cast a spell and disappeared. And, um, and I am the only almost killed this, myself. This, yes. <laughs> then the surviving, the surviving Frieza basically tasked the party with a quest to return the shard. 
and she explained to the party that while the Undying One was defeated, her army still lies beneath the forest, and that there is a war that is continuing to be waged between the forest at the top and this army of Undying that are sort of slowly being decomposed by the roots of the forest. But she also revealed that the shard was what gave the forest its regenerative powers. So with the shard gone, the forest will no longer regenerate, and what remains of this undying army will start to emerge. So, the, so walking dead. Essentially walking dead. And it should probably, <laughs> it should probably be noted Jeez. that in this, um, in this world, undead are sort of unheard of now. Since these, like, mm. 947 years ago, it's like, undead? That doesn't even exist. What's an undead? Like, that's a myth. Okay. Like, the so they're, they're not even, like, a part of the popular consciousness. They're, like... Or popular culture. Well, people know about them yeah. because, like, there's the story of the undying and his army, but it's not like you'll go into a, a crypt and just find an undead. Okay, but if you do see one, you're not going to freak out. You're going to be like, hi, Johnny. No, you, you're, no you're, you're going to your head well, full. Yeah, you'll be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> So as we were um, walking back to the village, the team, the group was walking back to the village when you heard this mighty crashing of a tree and the fae suspecting that the, the war had started to tip in the has begun. Yeah, it has begun. They fled off to try and delay the resurgence of this undead army. For as long as they could, while you guys quickly go back and get this shard. So you guys are now sort of at the borderline of the forest, heading towards the town. Maybe like so, uh, somewhere on the green. So you're like somewhere over here. Yeah. Okay. You guys are like somewhere over here. And well, that was interesting. Oh shit! I have to get into character. <laughs> <laughs> I need another cup of tea, hang on. Oh, 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 while you're busy. Mm-hmm. And might I have some dessert as well? What's your please? character's oh, name again? Crack. crack. She's crack. crack. Leave it. I'll have um, everything. Uh, you want everything, and what do you want in your tea? Same bag as crack, mine. Who's oh, also okay. known as Cock oh, by the Fae. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? <laughs> and and, and she's a bo- uh, <laughs> half orc? Half orc. Yes. Uh, Druid. Uh, so what, Druid. What uh-huh. Coffee. Half orc. Druid. Gnome rogue, gnome cleric. So, so she comes out sorcerer? saying stuff like, I'm gnarly as fuck. <laughs> no. She has a great accent, just wait. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's coming. But don't they kind of sound like the males, anyways? Or is that the dwarves? <laughs> well, I'm a man, so I sound like a man anyway. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, if that's where your head cannon is, then so be it. D&D Beyond. <laughs> but you've got boobies. Definitely a female orc. We have never seen them though. Yeah, we've not seen them. Mm-mm. She binds, whatever it's called. She keeps <laughs> what is human, what is not? <laughs> she gets it all. I got it, don't worry. Is she trying to look like a man? No, she's just like busy being in the trees and stuff. Yeah, she's like a hunter. No, you, can't, you can't be <laughs> getting all frisky if you're trying to tend to wood. Mm-mm. I'm not getting all frisky, I'm just a hunter. <laughs> where, where is the coming from? It's Druid. Druid stuff. I it's see like, you, bitch. <laughs> not, we don't like dance on poles in the middle of the night, Nathan. Vegan. Father, you not sugar? One sugar and milk, please. When you said one sugar, you mean two cubes. <laughs> one cube, that's what I mean. <laughs> Having already discussed the sugar. Ratios. So, as you guys are emerging from the forest, getting towards the tree line, you hear sounds coming from the area of the sawmill. You hear shouting, a scream, the sounds of a door being slammed and rattled forcibly on its hinges. The sounds of metal scraping and hitting against metal. <coughs> and no sounds of the rhythmic chop, chop, chop of wood that you are usually used to. Let's go, gang. I think we should go the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like mothers in town. I'm not interested. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you and who are you? I'm a, a no garlic. You're garlic. I'm the bicycle. Bell the garlic. Bell the garlic. The village drunk. The Arakocra drunk. Yes. 
And I'm Time Rosemary Bouquet. Father. <laughs> Father Time. Time Rosemary Bouquet. Father is a recent addition. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys are going in that direction? Yes! Uh, what the fuck is no. going on? Uh, yes. Okay. Fine. But they're my There's people! Pieces. Well, I, well, I guess they're my people. Why are they your people? Fine. Yes, because I am the cleric. I must make sure things are correctly. Can I put that there? Correctly what? Ooh. Okay. A new piece of paper has been Oh! More expert this drawing. Is the sword? Oh my god! A zoomed in. This is like a zoom in room. of the sawmill. Oh. Zoom in one half. Someone yeah. reverse pinched. Oh, your cup. Yeah, no, that's my thing. cup. That's your cup. Yeah, you can have that. Okay. <laughs> that's yours. Oh, it's falling over. Okay, so as you emerge from the woods, which will be somewhere around here, you guys can choose. Where do you want to emerge from the woods? Choose where you want to emerge from the woods first. From here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, what kind of area? There, or just general area there. places somewhere. There. All together though. Yeah. <laughs> Ejaculate from the end. No, oh, sure. Okay, so as you emerge from there, you see quite a chaotic scene. Um, Chaos. Down here by the sawmill, you can see a sort of Rusty, no, wrong colour. You can see like a Dust rusty, <laughs> armoured, dirt covered skeleton oh, man. grabbing onto the door to the open the sawmill, trying to yank it open. You can see on the other side of the door is Remington, who is the sawmill owner, the Ponzi Pratt sawmill owner. No, Remington! Desperately trying to keep it closed and a look of terror and horror on his face as they're having a sort of tug of war. Him trying to keep the door closed, ah, the skeleton, skeleton trying to it. rip it open. Um, <coughs> can I just... Back into it. Can, can there be sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Perfect. Yes. There we right. go. Um, Is it just one? Without lungs? <laughs> no, he swallows geese. So, Eric, Eric Hindle it's is like lying on the floor nearby. Oh, no, the hot... Triplets. One of the hot triplets. <gasps> One Eric, of the hot triplets. His hot tunic triplets. is soaked in blood. Oh. And another skeleton stands <laughs> over him with a blood soaked <laughs> rusty <laughs> sword. Oh, good lord. <laughs> like and that. as you arrive. That's probably someone's thing, right? Yeah, someone's thing. As you arrive, you see. Oh, wait, sorry, they're over here. As you arrive, you see Derek Kindle charge at this skeleton. Gosh, they're oh, up in the Derek. interface again. Those three are brothers. Eric and Derek. Remington is not a brother. Remington is the Ponzi owner of the sawmill. Okay. And then there's three lumberjacks. Eric, Merrick, and Derek. And they're male. And they're all and male, they're all blonde, human. muscular, human. German. Thick as planks. Everyone. But they're beautiful. But they're beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> um, you also see Merrick Hindle is over there. Wait, so I there's Derek was... is on the floor, oh. Eric is defending him, Merrick is over there, and he's busy going toe to toe with his axe with a skeleton, with also a sword. But you see, and he hasn't seen, emerging out of the ground behind him, let's move him a little bit further back, is another skeleton over there. How far away is that in terms of feet? Uh, Oh, and he's sort of dragging a rusty mace behind and sort of Ooh. creeping up behind um, Merrick. Further oh, off, yeah. close to the tree line where you see that big stump, one of those tree stumps, that big tree stump, is sort of violently shaking up and down as the earth heaves underneath and around it. <clears throat> you can see something large. I don't have a large, but it's it will be cool. You can see something large and skeletal trying to claw its way out from underneath the roots. But for now it is trapped and vulnerable. Everyone roll initiative. Yes! Ah! He's like just going into it. Shit. And, um, um, ah! Rudolph, I, I, don't I shall no. give you, um, you can play, Rudolph today will be playing the role of the Hindle triplets and yeah. Remington Kanda Lewis, who's the half elf guy. three of them? Okay. You can roll for Hindle them, there's not, there's not much to do for them, so you can manage. Have you heard them speak before? No. Okay. You oi! Oi, brother! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
shall not die today. <laughs> Are they from Ethiopia? <laughs> I'm from Ethiopia. <laughs> I was going for Viking first, long, but the, long the long other one is Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaican's better. <laughs> Uh, Jamaican the blonde, beefy Jamaican <laughs> triplets. <laughs> Why are you not small? We can be from where we like. <laughs> Maybe okay. the Afrikaans and the especially if they thick as flags. Like, could you see some Afrikaans? <laughs> that are we that's, that's okay. I am Afrikaans, I'm allowed to... You can to be racist make, against yourself. I can make fun of my own kind. Internalized you racism. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> are we broer, take it and sit. Time, rest me, bouquet. What's the weird price? Time, rest me, bouquet. What is your initiative? That was just racist. What is your initiative? Oh, seven. They, yeah. they, all of them have access. Uh, Did Dijal? you add your initiative bonus? All of the, <laughs> initiative all of the bonus of zero. All no. of the Hindles have access. Yes. Twelve. Twelve. Oh God, you guys did not do very well. Sure. No, not at all. Uh, We're very surprised. <laughs> Rudolph, do you want to roll the 20 to get your initiatives? Well, I don't add anything, so no seven. Bonus. Seven? Okay, so the same as with time. I'm just the time in normal. Oh god, so we're gonna go... S, T, B, T, M, C. Mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> So what do I have to learn? is going to need a drink soon. Baldegar <laughs> always needs a drink soon. This is true. So the skeletons it's are up weeks. first. <laughs> we'll start with the skeleton contesting the door against Remington. Uh, so Rudolph, I need you to roll the d20. Five. Okay, so the skeleton rolls a 15. You watch as this skeleton yanks open the door <gasps> and pulls you out by your forearm. Oh, she's my nose. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! That was his. Yeah. Okay, so the ponce is gender neutral and fluid. Ponce is gender neutral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so then this skeleton attacks you with an attack roll of nine. This one is your Eric. Okay. I need something to write. What's your AC? Um. Jeez, that's massive. That's, sorry, that's all I had. But I'm sure someone else has something better. Um, AC of five. So it's a. They are essentially unarmed. So. Yep. That skeleton hits you with its rusty sword. You take five damage. Oh. So that's. We'll Try say. Her. We'll say Eric, Merrick, Derek. You can take that. Eric, Merrick, Derek. Let's do it like this. Eric, Merrick, Derek. Dedrick. Dedrick Green. Oh, Dedrick. Um. The other skeleton... And pumps. And pumps. Mm-hmm. The other skeleton misses, um... Merrick. You're lucky, Merrick. So, it is now... Garlic, right? Yeah, garlic. That's me, okay. Um... Do I look like you run away? Uh... <coughs> what can garlic do? How far away is, is this person? So that's about, like... 10, 15 feet, 10 feet, I'd say. 15 feet. 15 feet. That's about 55, 55, 60. They're going to sheep. So you could get to this in one move. You could get to both of those with both your full move, and that would take more than a full move. I just quickly, so that's about one thing. 10 feet apart from them, <laughs> the green ones? <laughs> About, yeah. Okay, and then also the triplets, do I um, use them separately? They all go at the same time. Yeah, so they all go at the same time. But you get to use all of them. <laughs> so each one has its own attack and damage. Okay. Yeah. okay. I think um, <laughs> I'm going to use my both turns to get to the, the skeleton underneath the tree. Okay. Is this you? That can be me. That would be you. Really cowardly, yeah. Oh wait, garlic green. Let's say garlic green. That's easier. Um, all right. Uh, so you get there, and you see underneath this tree is like one big skeletal creature. Uh, roll a just a straight up intelligence check. 
plus three by three and ten to. Let me move this here. Flat ten style. plus three thirty. Uh, so it's quite difficult for you to know what this thing is. You're not sure you'd even recognize it if it were fleshed, but this is like mostly skeletal. But you can see like bits of broken root and stuff coursing oh. through its skeletal body. And you can see that the roots have actually sort of eaten a bit into the bones and they've like sort of wrapped around in sort of rivulets. Um, but it's thrashing. Sounds pretty. <laughs> At the moment, you don't think it would be able to hit you, but you think you would be able to hit it because it's still stuck oh, under okay. the tree. But it is heaving and like loosening it. It's not going to stay there for very long. So, do we have like a plant zombie, or do we have like a, a zombie with plant bits? You can't see the plant bits attached to any other bit of the plant. All right. Okay. Anything else you want can do? I don't think I can do anything. Beldegar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. Girl. <laughs> right. Beldegar's orange because bird. Sure. Um, that makes sense. So how far is this? That's like 10 feet, 15 feet. All right. I'm probably going to do something silly. Do it. <clears throat> uh, let's check my spells. Your spell card. No, I'm going to... Yeah. And he as well. He's a rogue. He's a rogue. I'm not going to cast a spell, actually. It's, it's, a, it's a skeleton. Oh, it's a skeleton. I'm wielding my... A scary skeleton. <laughs> scary <laughs> skeleton. No! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Spooky scary skeletons. It's a song. <laughs> I'm going to fly in and attack... With my dagger. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna just launch Are at this. Skeletons susceptible to dagger attack. <sighs> oh, we'll find out soon. <laughs> so you probably have advantage because you're now flanking him with good old Merrick. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So <coughs> Oi, that bird. is not that. Oops. So it's an eleven plus <clears throat> five. Sixteen. That's a hit. Hey, cool. And then damage is 1d4 plus 3, 6. Okay. Uh, you damage it quite significantly. That's oh, a crumbling um, skeleton. Yeah, they, do, they don't look particularly strong. Sturdy. Right? They're rusty and covered in dirt. And they all, you also notice these ones, uh, skeleton, the bones have sort of been eaten into a little bit. And there's still bits of roots and stuff on them. Okay. And I guess you like smash open its rib cage from behind. Anything else you want to do? Yes. Um, I'm going to. Can I still? I still have a bonus action, maybe, right? Yes. I moved. I still have some movement left. Um, I've already done my action. So no, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stay there. Okay. Yeah. Um, next up then is Time Rosemary Time Rosemary Bouquet. Okay, who's still with me? You've still got crack. Uh, crack, and that's it, I think. You always got crack. <laughs> but where am I? You Which guys are here on the edge of the forest. Which one do you want to be? Blue for Time Rosemary Bouquet. Yeah. Bouquet. <laughs> so which okay. one's crack? Uh, I'll be the orange one. Right. Okay, and the other one? Yeah, There's no one. Oh, okay. It's the, as of yet, non-existent adult. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the spirit of adult. <laughs> I feel it. Um, okay. Yeah, it's the it's the observer observer water. <laughs> Every now and again, I hear the wind whisper through the trees. Adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you hear that people are about to die. <laughs> A lot of them over specific rights. <laughs> 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 Skeletons, obviously. Skeletons. Yeah. Yeah. It's what we're talking about. Skeletons. <laughs> Duh. Creepy, creepy so time, time rose me. Podcast okay. listeners. Yes. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, You've seen garlic charge off towards the heaving mass underneath the yeah, tree. Yeah, because why not? And, and Beldegar fly forward with his dagger. Yes. And smash open the ribcage of one of these skeletons yes. with like a dagger punch. Yes, dagger <laughs> punch. Drunken okay. Master Dagger Punch. Um, so how far is 30 feet from me? 
So from here, well, if this is 10, you'd be able to get those ones and there. You wouldn't be able to get there. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> 120 feet, is that everything? 20, 120, 120 feet. feet. One, yeah, yes, yes, you would get everything okay, cool. within 120 feet. Um, <laughs> and this do? guy is still alive. The one yes. Sorry, yeah. he's, he's been sort of grappled. Remington is still alive. Okay. Pulled out um, by his arm. Remington. Remington. Um, so if I. Remington. Oh, sorry. Remington. Oh, sorry. Remington. Um, <laughs> you gonna leave me? What you gonna do? I'm gonna come for you. Say. Okay. <laughs> so. It's your nice price. What does that thing mean? <laughs> oh, it's raining down. Oh, so if I attack that, then he will also get hurt. With Does it damage. say you can target who you? Wait, let me let me look up this. What's the spell? Uh, guiding bolt. No, it's it's single target. Okay. Then I shall hit that thing with guiding bolt. Okay, cool. Um, does he make a save? Is it like magic? magic? Um, no. It's a plus four for D for um, hit. So, oh, so you just have to make an attack yeah. with it. Okay, cool. If I was in the way, I would get hit maybe. Uh, okay. But you're not. You're fine. Um, but you can guide it. That's what's called guiding bolt. You need like artillery. You just uh, like. Okay. Well, I am going to try not to hit him. Sure. So you're trying to save Remington. Yes. Your holy bolt of light. Um, oh, shit. Ooh, yes. night to 24. That's a hit. Okay, so that is 4d6. Well, I'll go cast it, so I use the spell slot. 4d6. So, so it's a sudden. What? It's a guiding <laughs> bolt? Yeah, you can tell us how to. 4, 9, 10, 11, 14. That's okay. a legit head. So. What, what, what does this look like? What does your radiance, radiance, radiance guiding radiance? bolt look yeah. like? It's like... A <laughs> dog! <laughs> <laughs> I have not given any thoughts to what a guiding bolt looks like. Um, let's say... I've heard it look like a small little butterfly. That zooms. Yes, like that, but instead of a butterfly, it would be a daisy. Oh. But a really fast day. <laughs> really fast. A really fast. Daisy, you're like throwing it like a shuriken. Like. Do you mean Daisy the flower or Daisy from down the road? Yeah. Wow. So you Daisy? did 14. I have floral theme. Huh? You did 14, you say? Yes. It's okay. Herbs, so the yeah, Daisy the hits the skeleton <laughs> on the back of its head. And as soon as it touches the back of the skeleton skull, the whole skull gets like this bright white aura of a flash. And you see basically every socket, every joint of the skeleton pops, and then the skeleton collapses in a heap of bones. We need more of that. Is he dead? That was, no. that was cool. Was Is dead. it a, on top of me? Yay! No, so it's let, <laughs> it's let go of you, essentially. Okay, then you think I was like, ah, you! Get it off! Anything um, else you want to do? Is it in the fluid? Yes. <laughs> do you want to move or take any other actions? Oh, yeah. Well, um, yeah. I will move. Come and help me. Where, where's where are you? My mother healing mat. Um. Oh yeah. I will help my fellow known. No. <laughs> By no. moving towards the known. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. This uh, one my you? speed is twenty-five. Mm, so you can get about it. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. there. Almost. Okay. There. And as a bonus action, I want to cast. Spiritual weapon. Oh. Okay. And that's on yourself. No, that's what does your spiritual weapon what look like? Spiritual yes. weapon do? Um, well, let me just. Uh, I create a floating spectral weapon within range. Would you like me to that, that lasts spell for spell? one minute? Um, um, when you cast a spell, you can make a melee spell attack against the creature within five feet of the weapon. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Are you within five feet of the. Yeah, no, definitely, but like, okay, so I can just cast it, I can't... You can't use it. I can't attack with it yet, um, yeah. but I just want to cast. What does it look like? Um, yes. <laughs> oh, why must I do so much thinking in this? <laughs> you it's a daisy. To cast. <laughs> what what so, the hell is this one now? <laughs> okay, well... Hmm. Ah. Oh, it... Hindelberg is up next, by what? the way. Hammer, mace. No. It's going to be a big... Fucking huge 
Bush of Lavender. Okay, perfect. <laughs> like, like, just, like, bound like, like it's all like, yeah. just compact yeah. and it's yeah. dense. It's a smudge stick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so it's one big, big smudge stick. It's just like yeah. a bundle of burning sage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I probably should have a thingy for my spiritual weapon as well. Yeah, we'll get a thing uh, for your spiritual weapon. Yes, I know, but like, is there something I can use there? Yeah. Or like, yeah, for, for the condition rings, yeah. There you go, you've got your spiritual weapon <laughs> well, on. No, we need to know where it is. Where did you cast to, it? Uh, it's five just feet to right next to, to garlic. Okay, All right. Cool. Well, I was like, what the fuck is that? Remington and Hindle Brothers, <laughs> like, it's your turn. <laughs> Remington. Remington and the Hindle Brothers. So it's Remington, it's not Remington, because he's got... Remington. Whatever. <laughs> Well, there are no accidents. Um, Remington is just going to shout at um, Merrick. No, that's Eric. 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 Um, look out behind you. It's like, look out! <laughs> and then um, he's, a little, he's, he's squirmy at this point. He's anxious. And then he runs it back into the mall and shuts the door. Have we ever? So it's really hard to come into this oh. because it's long since blah. But yeah, it's fucking loud. <laughs> uh, they've never complained. Okay. okay. Well. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. They haven't complained yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. And he shuts the door. Cool. And he's going to try and um, barricade himself. Cool. There's like planks of wood and stuff. Just make a strength check. 18. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Um, because he's down. In bleeding. Okay, so Eric, Merrick, and Derek. Eric has now been notified of the guy coming up behind him. Okay, but what's the story with uh, Derek? Derek, you need, make a death, you need to make a death it's, save for it's Derek. It's not Derek, it's Derek. Derek? <laughs> yeah, Derek. <laughs> Soon to be Derek. Soon to be Derek. <laughs> it's almost Derek. 12. Okay, so it's still he makes a save. Oh, it's still alive, Rick. Still alive, Rick. That's Derek, Merrick, and Eric. Alright. Um, also, who named these people Shane? <laughs> Poor Shane. Does, does the chocolate the the synchronicity room, work if he's down? Not if he's down, no. Crap. But, he, but he's uh, got advantage. He's flanked. Yeah, he's flanked. So he's got so advantage. So he's going to smash and hack on the, the um, skeleton. Who's smashing and hacking? Merrick. Merrick. Oh, okay. That wee bit. Um, What's left of the skeleton? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beldegar's yeah. fist is currently through its ribcage. <laughs> <laughs> He's had some practice. Okay, but you said advantage. Yes. Nine. It's a miss, I'm afraid. Oh, damn it. Come on, Derek. Get um, your shit okay. together. They're hot, got... not smart. And you still Aren't they supposed to be strong? Yeah. They are. But they're dumb. Uh, it's fine, I, I, I have now thought of what I want to do, but okay, in any case, so he's, he's done. And then this one. Um, you said he's aware about the fact that there's someone behind him. Yes, yes because, because he's if he tries and moves <laughs> Mommy, Daddy told him. He moved. around, is he going to get an uh, opportunity to attack without moving away? No, if, he's, if he stays in the threatening range of that thing, then it's fine. Okay, so he's going to move just around. So like, um, there? wrestlers eyeing one another, and then, uh, just to, oh, just, just like that, yes, just there. Mm. okay, to be able to see this one coming around, and then he's going to try and attack the skeleton, cool, cool. skeleton, 11, but that so one that I miss. is dead, Myth. it's crumpled on the floor in a pile of bones, as far as you can tell it is dead, it was dead already, but now it's dead. Yes, it's actually. Yeah. Now it's dead. It's, it's, it's been exercised. Um, That's the goal. That's the goal. Okay, so you said it misses. So that means I can't say that I tried to do a reckless attack because you already said what happened. Uh huh. Okay. Fine. Uh, crack. Uh, Is whack. Hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm there up. still, yeah? Yeah, you're like on the edge, right? Okay. Oh, glory! Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no. The homosexual is strong tonight. <laughs> Room for the gays. Um, okay, so the one glory. down there uh, is deceased. Derek, no, no, no. Derek is lying covered in a pool of blood in his own chest. The spirits oh, okay, are calling. But the, but the, the, the skeleton... The skeleton is, has Beldegar's fist yes, through yes. its chest. Okay. These ones are trapped There's one vulnerable. big one there, okay. heaving, trying to is escape. Is his fist stuck 
No. No, I just haven't removed it yet. Yes. Okay, so... Um, cool. And then Eric is squaring off the against now. those two. two. All of these things. You could probably those, reach yeah. full of yeah. to fun. Eric with your double movement. Or to Garlic with your double movement. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to... to uh, Rick? That guy? The, the one closest to me. Him? No, the mm. dead guy closest to me. Derek? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Nearly uh, Derek. Nearly D. Derek. D. D. I'm going to go yeah, after D. 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 Um, <laughs> Come on, oh, sorry, Derek, Eric, Eric, Eric. Eric. It's not that so D, 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 D run or do you lumber? No, I'm not, I'm not fucking... Well, what do you think a half orc is? This big? is racism. It's racism. <laughs> it's racism. It's racism. It's racism. Basic big. She's more yeah. half and less orc. Oh. <laughs> She's just a little green tin. Yeah. I mean, it's just looks like, like a half. sickly it's human. Like a yellow ochre kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Pointy like, it's bits. That color, it's that color. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pointy bits. Um, teeth. Um, <laughs> I haven't really thought about it. Did the orcs have pointy ears? What's, what's, yes. what's, your, what's your weapon? Uh, it is, uh, at the moment, Stabby it is Stabby. a large stone earth staff that we stole from the Temple of Elgar. You were so. gifted after oh, no. uh, yeah. Belgar <laughs> unsuccessfully attempted to Belgar steal it. Stole it. <laughs> he gave I it back. Know, I <laughs> gave it back, and then they gave it to me because I didn't try and steal it. <laughs> You've place. got a you are pure uh, of heart. Thing of things, like for things that aren't yours. Hmm. Yeah. He's a little thief. He's a little but thief. he's stolen then most. Yeah, I've stolen. While I'm going, I was yeah. just like, I'm been not. I'm not <laughs> like while that was going, I'm not going to involve myself with that. He's probably a lawful good or something boring. Who me? <laughs> cleric. What yeah. yeah, your cleric. So, yeah. Cleric, darling. Yeah. Yeah. You're a lawful uh, so good. Crack is going to rush over being like, oh shit, so oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Um, can I first make a knowledge a check to see if I know what the skeletons are? So I recognize no, them. Let's make an intelligence there. check. Okay. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> eight. Who I mean, they could be can humans, be they could be elves. They could be no. half orcs. Oh, but they're not gnomes or humanoids. I mean, do I know that they're undead? <laughs> they're walking skeletons, <laughs> right? No, <sorry>. <laughs> and you know, okay. you know the law. You know the law of this thing, and you know what you've been told is under the trees, right? The guys are fucking skeletons. What the fuck? Yeah, um, well noticed. And <laughs> I'm gonna try. Intelligence roll of eight. <laughs> like, guys, I had this amazing insight. <laughs> I think these are undead. <laughs> yeah, what's up, you are? <laughs> um, okay, so I am going to uh, attempt what to skeletons? stabilize uh, dumbass down here. Okay. Um, wow. His name begins with D. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna stabilize dumbass. Uh, what must I roll for that? So, just a plain medicine check if you just want to stabilize him. Okay, yeah, dude. <laughs> the dumbest mummy's boy in error. <laughs> uh, 16. Ah, so you're stable. <laughs> you're stable. <laughs> this one of you is. I mean, I assume there was medicine in there. I don't know what medicine So, so like. his eyes are gonna flutter open. He's like, Oh! <laughs> Rude! Get away! <laughs> this is why I moved to the forest. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh. The beasts are coming. And then I think that's my turn. How far away are these dudes? Uh, they're about another 20 feet away from you. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, in which case, I will um, take a speculative look at the large one that's like currently struggling with the, the thing. And I will um, sort of like, hmm? And use uh, my aura of sp halo of spores on it. Is that a bonus action? Yes. Okay, what It's a that? reaction, actually. Okay. Um, uh, to deal poison damage to one creature, oh, I'm within 10 feet, fuck, no, I can't do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious to see whether poison damage hurts the undead. <laughs> that would be interesting. No, in Final Fantasy it heals them. I, this is the Final Fantasy, I don't know how to yeah. work. And I rolled 8. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this game also like the other one we play where everyone wants to get rid of everyone? No. Okay. Just him. Yeah. Um, so this I'm skeleton, really old, okay. this skeleton is going to advance on Eric. Oh, Eric. Baldegar's probably gotten with garlic. But. And both of them are going to make attack rolls on like you for Eric. Uh, a 16 and a 4. So the 4 misses, right? Mm, so 16, he takes 16 hits, he takes 2 damage. He braces. And that's the one with the mace. Comes and hits you, Eric. In the face. In the face. Um... Oh. Nice in the face. Nice What? Excuse. See how often can't say inflict. Excuse. Garlic. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not garlic. 
Father Time Rose from Bouquet, yes. you are standing there when suddenly <sighs> to your right, the earth erupts and you see like classic horror, this hand, skeletal hand come popping up out of the earth. Quickly cut it. Ah! Arms um, for the poor. And yeah. it like it reaches <laughs> on as if it's gonna claw itself up. But then to your surprise, that it's just the that. hand and like the forearm of the skeleton <laughs> that emerges <laughs> out of the earth. And it immediately leaps towards your face. Oh, Hands thank you. Towards your face. I need you to make either an acrobatics or an athletics check. Wait, let me just check first which one is better. Uh, uh, these poor people allowed. these days. And sure. you are looking to beat oh, eight. Um, acrobatics okay. or athletics. athletics? Okay, I'm going to do an athletics save. Oh, and you need to beat eight. Okay. You need to have a chat with your people about anorexia in the forest. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> these, these are not my people. I, my people uh, 14. Mushrooms. Okay, so this hand leaps up towards your face, but you manage to swat it back and it lands. <laughs> sort of lands on the other so side of you now. That's a failed bitch slap. That's a failed bitch slap. Okay. Um, Bone slap, I don't know, guys. <laughs> The heaving skeletal mass <laughs> is continuing to push. It seems slightly enraged now that it sees your presence nearby. It keeps trying to like reach out and claw at you. It's me. Oh, sorry, at you, garlic. It's trying to reach out and claw at you, garlic. And I guess a little bit at your spiritual weapon. It initially shies back, but then only very temporarily also it starts clawing towards the spiritual weapon. Um, Does it that, seem like this is a cage? It's sort of stuck underneath the roots of the tree trunk, right? So it's trying to push itself out from underneath but, the tree. So, so, so it's from... like a hollow underneath. It's not grime and dirt. It looks like it maybe originally was, but it's sort of like worked its way up and down, Jeez. up and down, up and down. It's big. It's scary. Um, it's, a, it's, a, a it's, about, it's about Tom. twice the size of an average human, we'd say. This skeleton who you have your fist in, yeah. it. um, it's going to sort of like turn around. Well, it's not. It's going to try and like... Blindly swipe at you from the back like this. Um, <laughs> Wait, that's a dance movie. Uh, Eighteen. I've seen this in hip hop movies. Eighteen <laughs> uh, is a hit. Um, Wouldn't hold that on. be disadvantage? Actually, can go for disadvantage. Seventeen is a hit. Yes. <laughs> so you take three damage. All right. As it sort of it tries to hit at you with its sword, but it obviously doesn't get very good. Swings in, but it's still yeah. poking you a little bit with this. It's not thrusting. It's quite a rusty shit. old sword, also, so it's not exactly sharp. It's more like bludgeoning damage. Than One, two, three damage. So those are the skeleton's turns, and we are back to Garlic standing at the base but of this you, you're not, um, tree trunk. You're not scared by diseases, I would assume. Well, I, just, because, just because I'm the fucking town slut doesn't mean that I... <laughs> I don't know what type of bird flu you're spreading. Also, uh, there's, enough, there's enough alcohol in his bloodstream at any given time to kill uh, anything that might vaguely threaten his well-being. Does, the, does the alcohol could. help you with your fighting? No, but it engorges my Croatia. Oh my. <laughs> 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 That's what he wanted to so, know. No, no, Garlic is gonna is gonna be brave because she's crazy um, and attack the beastie with her uh, short sword. Okay, you have advantage on this. Is this the sword you pillaged from yes, the thing? This is okay, the stolen wooden sword. So metal, but really dull, oh, weird sorry. looking. Mm -hmm. um, with, the, with the funny runes on it, striations or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Um, scribbles. So you have advantage on your attacks because That's it's sort it. of stuck. Yes. Good, good thing that you had advantage. It's not gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a short that? sword. Where is that? Where is that? You need a longer one. Um, where do I see the thing? It's next to your weapon. It says range and then the hit DC. Oh, oh plus four. Okay, yeah. so then nine. That is not a hit, I'm afraid. Um, is there anything you else you'd like to do? Stab it, but then it just like slides. It, like you hit the only bit where the bones aren't. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very effective. I think I've got I've got a, a container of oil or a jar of oil which I'm going to throw inside there. Okay. 
<laughs> to lube up you the... You throw it in there. Wow, to see if I can set it on fire, but I guess it's probably all I can do right now. Sure, I'll say you throw the oil no, the jar in and it does sort of like smash and around spray. It. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> lubing them up. Um, <clears throat> Beldegar. There's no meat on wine grease here. Yeah. It's... So my fist is still inside. So that's if, you wish it, if you wish it to be, or you could have taken out anymore. in the previous round. <laughs> <laughs> With my fist... Firmly lodged <laughs> in the skeleton. I cast Chuck and Grasp. Ooh. Oh. So I don't have to attack them because I'm you literally s- <laughs> inside. You said some of them have um, armor on. Yes. Does this uh, one have armor that on? That one that was attacking Remington, which is now crumbled on the floor. And actually all of them have some semblance of rusty old armor on. Rusty metal. Yeah, metal. Ah, then I have advantage. Cool. Because electrics. Jeez, thank <laughs> God I have advantage. You take so a while to zap yeah. up your, your juice. 17 plus 4, I believe. It's a hit. Okay, so it's 1d8 of damage. What type of spell cost are you? I don't know. Uh, well, I'll tell you just now. Tempestuous, actually. 1d8. <laughs> he literally did tell you just now. <laughs> <laughs> As in the storm. Yes. Oh, Yes, this is it. That's cool being a bird as well. So it's five damage, 1d8 lightning. This is a d8, yeah. So five points of damage. And because of that, because I cast this spell and Tempestuous Origin, I also lift 10 feet into the air. Spread my wings and hover. Does, does the skeleton come with you? This is a good question. <laughs> so you, you cast your spell, skeleton mid hand, lift out of the air and then channel your shocking grasp and basically slam it down into the earth. Um, That'll that's do. cool. That'll do. So what was the damage you did? Five. Five. <laughs> um, so the... It's incredibly metal. Yeah. <laughs> the skeleton lands with a sickening sort of crunch and like a few of its bones go scattering in all directions, like with the force of the impact. But not all. You see Mary Are they still twitching? looking at you. Are they still twitching or is it now? Make a perception check. 18 plus... Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, perception. Not, uh-huh. not before. You rolled an 18. They yeah. are still twitching. Oh, it's not dead. <laughs> it's not dead. Um, it is dead. It's not still dead. <laughs> Time owes me bouquet. Semantics. Yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. For my bonus action, because I can do this in a bonus action, I'm going to take my spiritual weapon uh-huh. and... Hit one of the things. It That's is just one, one thing. thing. Cool. Oh, Roll, it, you have advantage. It's a massive. Yes. It's your it's the Greek chorus. Yeah. It's lubed up with oil. It's oh. lubed up, yeah. Would the chocolates <laughs> have really Is your thing on fire? Your spiritual yes. weapon is it like a All of burning them. bush, or is it just probably like, at the no, same no, time? This is a very shiz- very I'd like to think of it as more innocent than that. With much filthy slant. It's a one at a time. It is. 22. It's a hit. Um, okay, so that is 1d8 plus 2. And is it radiant damage or bludgeoning? Which one's this one? It's bludgeoning. Bludgeoning. Those petals are heavy. It's, it's, it really is. It is that touching? It looks like pizza. <laughs> yeah. no, there's time. <laughs> sage um, bushes. <laughs> 4 damage. 4. That's not very much. You should have gone for a more hardy plant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just my bonus action. Okay, and then what do you, Time Rose Me Bouquet, want to do? For my action. For your actual yes. action yes. and your movement, which oh, you nice. still have. I am going to... There's still that hand by your side. He's only on his side because he's yes. a hand. But I'm going to grab out my symbol. Oh, holy symbol. symbol. Holy symbol, which is... Flower or something? Who's your part, by the way? Nature. Nature. Yeah, okay, well, so yet to be determined. <laughs> yet something nature-based. Interesting, I've never heard of this. Nature. Can my holy symbol be like a wooden flower? Sure. Okay. <laughs> God, it's so gay. Flower type still to be determined. <laughs> yes, yeah, flower type still to be determined. The most I'm going to channel <laughs> divinity, speak a little prayer, and I'm going to do turn undead. Okay, what does that, that freak them out? What does that do? Yes, as an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, censuring the undead. 
Okay. Each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 12. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. Okay. A turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. No fear. Okay, so we'll say it affects that one, that one, the hand, and this one that's basically... Yes. Um, it's catching all over the It also can't Probably. take reactions. For its action, it can only dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. Okay, what's the DC? Uh, 12. Okay, we'll start with that guy. Fails. Then the guy to his right. Oops. He succeeds, he so he's fine. Jeez, Merrick is dead. Merrick is fine. Merrick was yeah. uh, the little <laughs> hand by you. Rocks fall. Merrick dies. Fails. Yes. And then this one that's basically <coughs> also fails. So okay. only this guy succeeded. The rest also. of them all fail. And now they have to run away from you as far as they yes, can. On their, as far as can. on their turn. And on their turn. Um, yes, as far as they can. And they don't have reactions. Okay, cool. Is there anything else you can do? Timer is maybe okay. Um, okay, well, I'm going to unarmed strike the hand next to me. Wait, no, I'm not going to strike the hand that feeds no, you. No, I'm not going to because it is has failed. So it's going to try and move away. Also, oh, you don't have another t- attack. Another action. Mm-hmm. That's true. But you could, would you he still take move. an opportunity attack now if he moves away from that thing? Since it's no, feared. No, because it's feared. Him. No, so it won't attack him. The see, I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, so no, crawls back into the bag. He won't go away from me. Um, okay, no, that's fine. I... Oh, I fuck! But I already used my bonus action for You've my spiritual move. action. You can move. I move. I'll just move to here. Cool. Like I just jump over the hand and just go. Like, <laughs> the hand's like. <laughs> but the Doesn't know where to go. Ah, okay. NPCs, Rudolph. Uh, Remington is still hiding in the saw What mall. does uh, Remington hear? Is there anything from the other side of the house? Make, the make a perception roll. Oh, Ten. He doesn't hear anything. He's freaking uh, he can, out. He can hear the He's sounds powering. of battle still ongoing mm. in the background. He hears time, Father Time Rosemary Bouquet shouting a prayer. <laughs> then he's going to start um, oh, running Oh, beautiful flowers! <laughs> <laughs> Wherever his money is uh, stashed, he's going to start... Uh, I'll say Counting that's, it and there's a small to office away. in the back corner of the sword. Because he's, he's that back now. corner. He might be thinking of running. But any case. And there's like a window there that he could crawl out of if he wanted to. Okay. Now, um, what's happening with. Uh... So Derek is Derek stabilized. Derek is stabilized, but it's going to take an hour for him to heal at all, so it's yeah. fine. There's a little th- pile of thing bones there. underneath Merrick. Might be doing something weird. Um, Merrick is going to still look wide-eyed at you and then kind of wink and say, let's try that later. And then turn around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> turn around and run towards... Let's try that later and then turn around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how much later? <laughs> and he's going to try and chop this hand in half. All right. And he's going to do that recklessly. Cool. Well, clearly, if he's turning his back on me. <laughs> That's a this nine. This is just single on now. Or six, sorry. <laughs> and that's the nine. That's a fail, I'm afraid. Six. Even though it's feared and on the ground and doesn't have oh, a lot of... Okay, but I had advantage. With feared, you get advantage. So you can double advantage if you want. For the third time. Oh! 19! That's a hit. Okay, so now for the hit itself, double damage. Mm-hmm. So, ten. You smash that... Um, and okay, into but smithereens. God, right? Can I not just have You've got it on an the axe? And then it's like stuck there, and then I'm watching it, and then it's as still I do, in the in the distance I see my brother cornered. Mm-hmm. So then I start if I can still rush forward. With however far with I can hand, get. with hand on still axe. Still attached yes, to axe. Yes, axe. Okay, fine. Hand on axe. So I'll say you get to yes. about the same place. It's not, it's not a new thing. It's just weird that it's not my hand. You get to about the same place as time rose. Yeah, okay, yeah. with. The hand ah! on your axe. And, 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 and I'm going to not try, but as I'm running, because I'm athletic, doing this, just at the moment I pass him, the hand 
the flying orb. Okay. Just hits orb okay. In his direction. Can we see if it maybe hits? It will smash. Do you wear armor? Time wears me bouquet. No. Okay. What? Oh, well, so his, as, He's throwing you with the hand. As, Not me with as the Merrick hand. So, oh. so Merrick comes, smashes the hand with his axe. Sees his brother and not really thinking, he starts running. As he runs past you, the remains of the hand come flying off his axe and sort of like. Can I try to dodge? Um, make an acrobatics check. Okay. <laughs> you keep trying to dodge this damn hand. Uh, see if this. Will you counter roll that with the d20? Bloody hand smacks you in the face. Seven. Okay. You but I was reckless attacking. No, you have to beat a seven. <laughs> Do I have to beat a seven? Uh huh. Nine. Okay, oh, so uh, you just managed to doze, like move your face back and just come sailing past. Bits of hand, fingers, metatarsals, tarsals, car- tarsals or toes? What are the fingers? Phalanges. Oh, phalanges. Anyway, so bits of the hand come flying past your face as they sprung off of um, Are they still twitching? <laughs> I just go, They're flying what? through the air at the moment. But I'm not- are they still twitching? <laughs> They're right in front of your face, Tarsals you can see. And are in your... No, I don't notice. Isn't that your toes? <laughs> Metatarsals. Metatarsals on the hand. Yeah. Anyway. And metacarpals are on the feet. Ooh, speak signs to me. Alright, Crack, what is your... Other way around. Um, Carpals in the hand. Carpals in the hand. Because you can yeah. carp- it carp- carp- it carp- carp- and toes. Carpals and toes. No, uh... It's the palm bones. It's carpals. The front of the Oh, you still have Eric, yes. Eric. <laughs> Eric is because it's the same fucking role, so if I'm not so you said it's with the whip. Let's uh Well, he's going to be emboldened by this and what the fuck the He's just going to reckless attack the one in front of us. Okay. And then there's other pieces. 15 or... Is that it? 18. Is that the birthday? 8. 8. Damage. 8 damage. If I kill it... You do not kill it, but you do some significant damage to it. To which part? I guess you side swipe it, smashing through like its wrist, it's like ribs and like its shoulder blades here, mm-hmm. and like its whole hand sort of goes limp. Rips limp. Off. Doesn't lip rip off entirely, oh. but like that whole bit like sort too, of breaks. Too, um, sinewy. There's a little bit of yeah. stuff left over, but it's mostly skeleton. But you just, okay. you know, there's like, um, you crack the bone and splinter it, but there's still like a bit of stuff. He calls to Merrick and, and uh, shouts to him to, okay. s- to say, Stop fucking around and come help me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, crack. Cool. Uh, crack is. Cracks over there. The, okay, so the, the, the skeleton that's at my feet, um, at our feet, I guess, is not moving. It was twitching. It's twitching. It's still twitching. So it's there's like a central body that doesn't really seem to be moving, but like its hands and arms and legs, which split apart when it was like body slammed down, seem to be like twitching a little bit. Okay, um, I'll use my reaction to uh, see if my hail of spores does damage to it. So just like fling a couple of spores at it, which gets close and then like explode a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, so they take they just take damage. You're seeding it. Uh, sporing it. Um, <laughs> in this what, case, it's what Robert Barry really is. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's our jam. Your, your spores don't seem to have any damage. But that answers that question. Yeah. Right? But the you, spores don't have don't damage, or they don't cause damage. You don't appear to be poisoning the bones. Well, it's not. <laughs> so the, <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> so not the normal. Uh, um, what normally would happen if you were to poison something? Oh no, it's just What's the effect that you would it's, see? It's dealing poison damage. So they just take damage, the type of damage. So there's no <laughs> rash or blistering? Or you haven't really used it yet. Well, no, I haven't used it against anything living, I guess. I, I imagine they would have to inhale it or... Like, cause like a snake bite. Or they could like, just grow a little mushroom. Thank you. Maybe they could grow oh, a little gosh. mushroom. Just a little mushroom on your face, man. Alright. Like, that's permanent. That's, that's just you floating. Is there anything else you want to do? <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, the guy grows a random mushroom. That, <laughs> oh, the hell did that happen? <laughs> is that your Not freaking body? In your warm damn place. 
Um, it's because I haven't had a drink. Okay. I will. Okay. My blood is taking toxins. In which case, I will move then here. That's that's gonna rear her head. And uh, not again. <laughs> so not again. <laughs> no, that's Beldegar. He's orange, remember, because he's a bird. Oh. And, uh, isn't that easy Duh. to remember? <laughs> I'm also Duh. orange because I'm a half orc. Um, apparently, right. So those guys that still one contained. Guy. That one Big guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big one. This guy is down, but down permanently. This the hand, hand that went flew it fly, you, uh, At the moment, oh, you see the frag, you see fragments of it flying past time where is my bouquet's face at this moment. While he goes, squee. Okay, well I'm <laughs> over here. I'm <laughs> I am dodging it. I will use chill touch on the guy that I previously tried to use halo spores on. Um, okay, so you're coming back to him. No, it's it's it's. I'm, I moved there. Oh, is it a range? Yeah, this yeah, is the one. Range. Okay, but yes. It's, it confused me as well, because it's got touch in the title, <gasps> but apparently I just manifest a ghostly skeletal hand. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. that needs to touch. Fight the yes, skeleton with the skeleton. That's well, let's make Ghost a range. Skeleton. Fire with fire. <laughs> this is, I mean, like, so, if you hit an undead target, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls against you until the end of your next turn, so it's good against skeleton. It's good against yeah, skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh no, skeleton ghost! <laughs> <laughs> Stop killing the skeleton, but then you the ghost. ghost. You'd be pretty freaked out, right? And if yeah. there's a skeleton, you're like, I didn't even know we could make one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I didn't have a soul anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's my soul, come back to damn me! Okay, um, so I must make a spell attack, which is my spell casting eight, modifier. Eight plus your wisdom. It should modifier. say the uh, casting modifier there. Do your spell, you know. I mean, it's so a spell attack. So it does, uh, plus four. Um, Fifteen. It's a hit. Uh, so it's Joe. Uh, 1d8 necrotic. Uh, it can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. The hand clings to it and it also had disadvantage and attack rolls against me. Okay. So go on, just get the go. Four damage, score on. That's the, the one that's on the ground. Yeah? The one that's go on the ground on the by <laughs> Belgium. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, so now it's like a, a ghostly skeletal hand grabbing onto the. Real skeletal skeletal. So, <laughs> time Rosemary Bouquet, after yes. you've invoked your words, you see this skeleton turn and flee away from you, heading towards the village, I might oh, add. Fuck. <laughs> um, this one seems unfazed. As you see the bits of hand go past, they sort of land on the floor, um, sort of scattered about in quite small pieces by now. You don't see them react at all. Um, you can't really see what's going on here. It doesn't really, your spell doesn't really tell you who, like in an innate sense of who you've affected, does it? It's a uh, radius. Yeah, but you don't know if you've hit things or do, does I it mean, say anything? I mean, you generally know you, you know okay. the spell is affected. Yeah. So you felt a slight tingle behind Ooh. you, I guess. I like a tingle. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> no, wait, 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 I remember this. If, like, for instance, if somebody is to be charmed by a spell, you don't know if it takes. Yeah. Oh, you only know if it. F you don't know. You don't know. Oh, okay, cool. So you don't feel the tingle. No smiley sense. Oh. But Beldegar, you note those two dislocated arms start slowly trying to crawl away from you. <laughs> the two legs that you dislocated slowly um, hip try to rejoin onto the hip, but mm. they seem like a bit confused and unable to rejoin. Um, there's a ghostly hand that keeps slapping them away <laughs> from the pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> so this, the Me. lower half of the skeleton remains here, and you see the, the two hands slowly start like trying to crawl away <laughs> in this <laughs> direction. <laughs> um, Adam's family ride. But as this happens, you are suddenly distracted by this oh. um, almighty roar, which Rudolph will provide us with, as the a tree comes crashing off of you. That's your spiritual weapon. Yeah, and spiritual weapon. Good enough. That's a good one. That's, that's, I like that. And you are all momentarily um, drawn to this horrific, oh, it's the giant undead thing <laughs> coming, bursting, chomp, chomp, chomp. coming bursting out of the ground. Imagine it comes out. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> that's even more terrifying. <laughs> Oh, I could just eat you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. And darling. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna make another team. Please, please, please. Yes, please. And it's got like a little pink bird sign. And I need everyone, oh, Ruben, oh, everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Thomas, do you want to make a wisdom saving throw before you go? Yep. This will simulate because they. One to take. A, you, would you like to do a wisdom saving throw? I need everyone to do a wisdom saving. Okay, throw. because Me. I don't think people would like to fail it. Seventeen. On you're fine. Jeez. Uh, Wisdom saving is... What was that? A 12, right? Because I just put it down. Yes, you can roll, I don't know. I roll it again if you want. Okay, thanks. Oh, oh, it's it's okay, so it's 15 minus 1. It's 14. Okay. I'm 9. You're 9. Oh, shit. Uh, you're fine. 18. You're fine. Uh, so uh, you are the only one who is not fine. Oh, garlic. Which kind of makes sense because you're the closest. Uh, you are frightened. You piss your pants, I guess. Um, my pantaloons. <laughs> so you should see on your You're so good with pantaloons. So this is nothing new. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to this. But you have very poor, oh, there you have very go, poor there bladder go. control. No. You know? <laughs> Double in the plumbing. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Never mind. Uh, so I'll just take here. out my, my uh, spare pants. You can remove the blinded condition, by the way. You're no longer blind. I'm no longer blind. <laughs> you're you're blind. now soaked. <laughs> Why were you blind in the first place? No, it's blinded previous. at that too long. Time. Oh, wow. So if you look at that, I think it's just you get disadvantage and you can't... A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within the line of sight. The creature can't willingly move close to the source of its fear. But how far can he see? I mean, he was right there. Right. He, was right there. Like, he, was, he could see it well enough to attack it. He could see it well enough to attack it underneath the trees. <laughs> and now it's... What if he closes his eyes? Emerged. <laughs> oh, Triumphantly. Shit, what if she turns around? <laughs> if you turn your back on it, uh, trying to flee, you're no longer in line of sight, are you? It doesn't appear to be... You're not going to get proper... It doesn't appear to have any weapons on it, though. Just so you know. So it's also just stomping and fisting. Just stomping and fisting. Um, I'm very small. I'm only a gnome. And that is the skeleton's you would be turn. The and that's my turn for this thing. Actually, no. It also gets uh, to take two swipes at you. Oh. Uh, really yes. Um, Coffee. Yes, please. Coffee. Yeah, please. Yes, just plain with more. Can I have another all grey, please? You want the same tea bag or different tea bag? We can have a new tea bag. Now. I'll have the same tea bag, please. Thanks. Okay. Oh, thank you. Can I have two spoons? Uh, so a seventeen. Oh, Does that hit you? Yes, I so. uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a third. So you're tiny, tiny. Yeah. So both of its claws swipe out and smack you for a total of twenty-one damage. <gasps> <laughs> 21. How much do you have? 18. Oh, oh God. you're down. <laughs> so, you guys watch as this... <laughs> no wonder you're fighting of it. <laughs> this thing bursts out on you. He goes like... <laughs> and it just, yeah, it just goes... Splat. Um, so you guys hear sickening crunches. You're a little fly. <laughs> garlic. And it crushed your wings. And all you can say is garlic. <laughs> <laughs> now you've crushed garlic. Oh. Okay, but those are the skeleton's terms. Hmm? Um, Sorry, what? He's crushed garlic. Oh, wait, but this one also isn't fighting, so this one's going to attack you, Eric. So that's skeleton. One, two, three. He did something smart and he doesn't even realize it. Hey, but it's a miss, so he tries to attack you, but he's, he's also slightly distracted by this giant troll thing emerging from underneath the trees. Um, I think he would. Yeah. Probably be like um, competitive, trying to figure out how he's going to manage this lumber. Okay, um, garlic, you are down. So you have to make yeah. a death 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 saving throw. That's okay. What do I? Have to so you have to roll the d twenty. Uh huh. And if you get more than ten, you make the save. Okay. Which you if need you to get feel. less than ten, you fail the save. No. If you fail three times. One, if you fail three times, you dead. I don't want if you succeed like, like, three you times, like, you fine. But you do this every round, so there's at least okay, six so rounds there. for these guys to try and save you. How much damage did he take? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. He's just done. He's not Twenty-one. Clean dead. Okay, cool. So every time you make yeah. a success, then you 
Kick that. Yeah. But if anything was to damage you now, you take two automatic damage. Yeah. So if he stomps on your face, for example. Yeah. Don't stomp on me. Where did the stump go? He chucked it back off of his back. Back? Behind him. Yeah. Which is this way. Yeah, this towards way. you, Rudolph. Twelve. So you make one saving throw. Woo! Okay, well, more things came up. It, it, you start oh, doing you this. press the box for success. Well, you start with your death save, this, this happens. Thank you. What's that? Your sphincter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you, guys, you see the arms like falling away behind into the forest. <laughs> you might die. And I'm still hovering, oh, right? You're still hovering. Guys. You see that the ghostly form is sort of smacking the legs away from reshaping. <laughs> Sorry. Um, thank you. No, and you, you, hear this, you hear this <laughs> horrific roar. You're mixing is, up is everyone's not? cups. No, this is coffee. Who did you make the coffee for? For me. Yes, sorry. sorry. Yeah, that's my tea. I was, I was going to pour you a little bit and I was like, Thank no, you. we had a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, so you see the legs being swatted by the spectral claw. <laughs> and and I, you see garlic be smooshed between the hands of this giant skeletal thing. Is the giant skeletal thing still covered in oil? There's some oil on it. It's not covered in oil, but like it's four. Arms. It's one forearm is oily, and now some of it, and now some of it is smeared on garlic. No, All right, so let's not no, set it alive. Please don't set me on fire. All right. Billy, you're okay with milk. Uh, no, it can be black, thanks. No, thank you. Alright, so first of all, I cast uh, Mage Armor on myself. <laughs> cool. Oh. <laughs> Fuck this. So, my spell DC is now 6, I mean my armor class is now 16. Cool. Jeez. Okay. Okay. So, whose turn is it now? Me. Still. Yours. So that's one spell slot gone. And then. <laughs> I'm getting to you, waiting for my turn. <laughs> but you would have seen this. Yes. Because you were in line of sight. Yeah. I'm going to. What's my movement? Flying speed? Oh, yeah, you're in the air. Yeah. yeah. You can get there. I can, I can get two garlic. Yes. And then grab hold of garlic. And... Oh, wait. But you're going to heal me. Meta, meta gaming pigeon. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So I grab a hold of garlic, being my dearest friend. <laughs> and, um, you mean your credit source? <laughs> my credit source, yes. As well. Um, I blast off upwards again. Okay, so you'll have to make a strength check. Yes. And the thing will get an attack of opportunity. All right, not, no. With, um, with tempestuous magic, uh -huh. it does not invoke an attack of opportunity. To do the tempestuous magic? No. So when you move 10 feet up here, that's not an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Now you're not tempestuous magicking. Now you're just flying. No, I'm, him up. I'm flying and I'm picking him up. Yeah. And then to go back up, you have to cast a spell. I cast a spell, and that also provokes an attack that, of opportunity. No, that if is you cast a spell within threat, melee threatening range. It says, hold on, let's check this out because you might have something, or it's I might feature. have something. Weep, 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 weep. It's one of the features of um, tempestuous magic. As a bonus action, you can cause a gust of air to stir around you before or after you cast a spell of first level or higher. It allows you to fly up to 10 feet without provoking opportunity attacks. Okay, so before. Like a sudden burst or okay, after. Cool. So you still have to make the strength check. Yes, I need if to make you a. Fail the strength check, then I'll say he gets an attack of opportunity With on you. What do you grab it? His hands. With my claws. Then what do you use to <coughs> cast the magic? He's got. Hands I've got hands, wings. feet, and wings. Yes. What so do you he grabs them with magic? his feet. He grabs them with his feet. And what, yes. what do you cast? I'll, I'll cast a vocal cantrip. Okay. Do it do doesn't have to be an attack spell. Oh, what did, sorry, what did you want? Just pour whatever's in there. Hot water. Hot water in there. And you just go, 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 Okay, cool. I just go, go, <laughs> What is your constitution score? How tall is this? What is the constitution score? I have no idea. But I'm. Um, Constitution score is 11. Uh, that, yeah. And uh, plus zero modifier. Okay, so you have to beat 11. 
Yeah. All right, on a strength yes. check. Strength is this check. creature um, huge or got large. Not gargantuan? Not gargantuan. Just large. Just large. Okay, so this is a straight strength roll. And it's 17. Okay, so you pick him up. So now you're 20 feet in the air. Okay. And this thing goes... Oh. <laughs> Would anyone else like more milk tart? Um, and I lock my wings in place, just in case. <laughs> so he is 10 foot big, and he probably has... You think he could probably still get you at all, 20 feet in the air. All right, how much movement do I have left? None. None. Because you move there, you cast your spell. And also because garlic's dangling underneath you, right? No. Oh, you've got him like that. Okay. It's a small little thingy. Yeah, okay, but then he'd still attack you, I think, then, if you're grabbing him. All right, yeah. No, okay. I'm, I'm, he's, yeah. He's still very vulnerable. Um, yeah. Dan, yeah. he grabbing with his claws. I very I gently <laughs> grab. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. you're not the DM. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So, I'm trying to kill a boy. So, um, no, 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 time rose me You're not the DM. I'm asking. So, time rose me bouquet. Yes. You can see that that hand by you is not twitching at all now. Okay, so um, um, it's safe to assume it's dead. Though. It's safe to assume it's dead. Enjoying that. Um, mm-hmm. This one still looks fine. That big it's ass there. thing yes. just smushed garlic, and you saw Belvedar <laughs> dive in, and jump up into the air, holding on to yes. um, um, garlic. What's the distance there. between there and there? Uh, probably about twenty feet. Okay, awesome. Feet. That's perfect. <laughs> um, okay. For my action, I am going to cast um, Guiding Bolt at second level at the big thing. The big okay. Um, okay. Is 16. That's a hit. Okay, awesome. 5d6. Mm. You. Um, Smash it with your daisy. <laughs> <laughs> your so even flower. bigger daisy. Oh, no, yeah. bolts my daisy. Now it's a dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's second level, so now it's a dandelion. Oh. Um, Before or after it's turned into a big ball of flour. It's being pelted with each other. Oh. Like, you can see that's like... Six. Twelve. Twelve damage, okay. Didn't, you don't add anything to that. No, it's just 5d6. Uh, so that's your guiding ball to this. Yes, but it's like such weak throws. <laughs> the dandelion comes... So the dandelion comes, gets to its chest, and like explodes three ribs Jeez. that fall off of it. Um, three leaves that fall off of it. Three ribs. ribs. Three of its oh. like big ribs. Come, oh, I was about to say it's like... sort of like exploding off and landing down by him. Um, Okay, and... It sort of staggers a little bit, but it's still dead. there. Okay. Um, and it turns to look at you pretty and snarls menacingly. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, I wanted to use a spiritual weapon on that one, but I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> this, this one is looking at me! It's still dripping oil. It's, it's got a bit of oil on its one four. Okay, arm, for yes. my bonus action, I'm going to hit it with my spiritual weapon. Cool. The old bouquet of flowers that it was. <laughs> it's natural 20. Ooh, crit it? with the sage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, what is our rule with critting? Double damage. Double, Double damage. damage. Okay, so 1d8 plus 2. <laughs> it's got it right in the eye. <laughs> in the eye socket. Uh, 3, 5, 10 damage. Uh, so you like sort of blast off its one whole hand and it falls to the ground, like <laughs> hand and like part of forearm. Oh good like lord. Blasts. Is it the oily one? No, I'll say for this argument's sake it's not the oily one. I'm just imagine this like bunch of flowers coming out and like... <laughs> There's uh, a second <laughs> and then after like... <laughs> like so hey. Eric... Laser flowers. Eric and Merrick. That's... Rudolph. No, Eric and Merrick, right. Yeah. The door creaks open and Remington starts Creep creeping up. out, not knowing that there's a skeleton towards okay, that so side. He's going in that direction. He's backing away. Uh. And, and can we just say that he kind of bumps into the skeleton with his back? 
Sure. Okay. okay. That ends him. And he shrieks. The ske- <laughs> he shrieks. The skeleton turns around, looks through him, sees time goes to be the case. He shrieks. <laughs> 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 I know why everyone's running away. Oh yeah, because he's scared of me. <laughs> he drops a few coins. Um, <laughs> Is that skeleton for being his pants? No, no, no. No, Remington. Drops oh, a few Remington. coins. Yeah. yeah. It's his version of crapping himself. <laughs> okay, then... <laughs> um, I'm going to say Eric first is going to um, attack this one. Cool. Um, reckless attack. Cool. Uh, that's an 18. That's a hit. 18. That's a hit. Uh, that's 12. 12 damage? Yep. Uh, you swipe its head straight off. With a loud crack. Uh, anything else you want to do? Yeah, he's going to uh, shout to his brother to uh, come and help uh, chop down the massive creature. Kritza. And then he's going to run towards Kritza. Did Eric and Merrick make will saves against being scared of it? Oh, they did it. I think let's, they're too dumb. <laughs> let's make them make will saves now. So start Now that they're actually looking at the yeah. delayed reaction. Okay, so that's a... Tw- uh, this is before everything happens. So this I'll say you got to hit it. No, okay, so that... Eric is scared. Fine. So he's going to look up and not shout that, and yet then just kind of like, you know, fuck that shit. And he's going to start joining Remington. And the other one is 10 as well. Okay, so they're starting to flee. Oh. <laughs> Brother, they've got the sword. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Botswana. Um, now we're in Botswana. <laughs> <laughs> Crack. I can't do... <laughs> I can do French. But they are, they are, <laughs> not, they are not, they are not French. French. <laughs> this, is, this is a poodle French. Oh, crack. Oh, oh, oh. It is the zombies! I'm a nerd, Steve Homage. I'm a nerd, it's actually over the top homage. Apparently, hey? Mm. Dexter's laboratory lied to me. So, um, so, large guy, how is he looking? That's His forearm shape. is broken off. His two ribs, three ribs have fallen out. So he's not looking so good. He's looking a little big. Give me like a percent. <laughs> no, I can't give you a percent. <laughs> he's a little oily still as well. The problem with undead is <laughs> He's suffering from a bit of yeah, inconstance. <laughs> okay, um... Cool. In which case, uh... I haven't rolled by collecting the material components of this spell, but... Can That's I, fine. Can I, can um, that you can I'll use your... I'll assume you have. Your, your, your... Do you have an arcane... Uh, not an arcane, your druid. Druid focus. I don't have a focus. Druids don't have focuses. Don't it's fine though, don't worry. I'll assume you they picked can. your pies or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you have your compound. You'll marry tarts. 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 As long as it doesn't have gold cost, it's fine. Because I'm going to cast Moonbeam. Oh, Moonbeam. So, so you're casting the Moonbeam scene. on. <laughs> so what time it's is it? Late it's late afternoon. It's close late to sunset. Afternoon. Okay, so we're getting close to sunset. So everything suddenly goes very dusky. Like okay. It's low key. Like the sun's about to set. Like, oh shit, it's like four o'clock. This is this is unusual. Tea time. <laughs> this is not how this shit usually happens. And then, single bright beam of moonlight, just like zing, zing, shoot, anime shot style, just okay. shoots down from the sky. I'm living for this. Engulfs this dude, okay. and he's like undead. So he's like, oh no, this is not the moon. <laughs> I like the moon. I hate the moon. <laughs> um, or he or becomes or real. is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain. He must make a constitution saving throw. Um, if he's a shape changer, tell me now. He's not a shape changer. Yeah. <laughs> because if he was a shape changer, he would instantly, if he failed, he would instantly revert to his original form. What does he have to roll? <laughs> con save. Con save of 12. Uh, con save, yeah. He's fine. He makes no, he step. takes half, so okay. um, I roll two d10s and he takes half of that. This is a d10, right? Okay, six. That's what, he takes five damage. 
All that for five damage. But it's five radiant damage. I don't know if that makes a difference. It's glorious, though. It's like awesome. Eye on cannon. <laughs> <laughs> so, as this hits him, he sort of looks up a bit, and then he falls to his knees. Is there anything else you want to do for your turn? Uh, no. Also, this has a duration of one minute. Um, okay. And most spells have duration of one minute. Well, I mean, but I can, I can, I can move it around at the beginning of my turn also. But do you and take damage again every time? Every turn. If he yep. starts his turn in the moonbeam. Okay. Or the first time he enters the moonbeam. The first time so, he enters every, every first time. So it's a when a creature of, enters okay. a spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause him pain. So on his turn as well, he will take damage. This is a yep. one minute laser beam. And it does 2d10 damage. Yep. Yes. And it's a second level spell. Yep. Yes. I. It's only, it's only. I love um, how you gave I me the little like, crinkly this. eyebrows of like. Wait, That's but, so, so, but it's not so. It sounds to me that like if. They move in the first time, or they are in that area when you cast it, they take that damage. That's but, thereafter, but thereafter, they don't take the damage. No, they continue no. to take When damage. a creature enters a spell's area for the first time on a turn, which he did just now. No, he didn't. He was already. You cast it on him. Yes, which, that is that sec- is which is that second bit. When it enters, oh, David, on its first turn. You can choose to no, 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 but I just want to listen wrong, to it, right? But, like, so listen to it. Continue reading. Uh. It is in or starts its turn there. Those are the only two things. Yeah, so it started its turn there. No, it hasn't it had its turn. It's not its turn yet. yet. But then, so it shouldn't have taken damage now. It was well, it, because it's it entered the. Uh, okay. Do you know. Uh, um, okay. If you don't want me to do my spells, I don't have to do my spells. <laughs> no, you can do your spells. I just want to make sure we're doing them right because it does seem quite powerful, right? Okay, well. It takes 2d10 damage each round. How far how can you move it each round? Uh, 60 feet. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, we'll see. Which bolt works the same? Um, well, I'm not sure if he knows where the moon beam came from. The sky. Yeah, but I don't know if he knows where it originated. Yo, so it's not comes. very clever. Um, yes. So, so I think it's going to still forth. keep... It sort of falls to its knees, but then it valiantly gets back up. <laughs> um, not very evil valiant, <laughs> evil valiant leader. <laughs> 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 Some of us are. Like, like, oh, that guy's evil, but wow, that was valiant. <laughs> <laughs> Dead knees, Joe. He's got swag. <laughs> <laughs> and as it falls to its feet, that hand that has been, like, um, fallen down next to it sort of, sort of reattaches to its arm. What did you do? That's not me! This is raining, it's and damage. It pushes itself off and runs towards you. So are we are we oh, ruling that time, it's not taking damage on the start of its turn here? Yeah. It's no longer in Well the it doesn't really matter. Well, Either it the took the damage when you cast no, it, you or it took the damage, the damage on the start of, the of its turn. Yeah, I'm not sure so, that's how that works, but okay. Well I'm the DM, so <laughs> Uh, so it's going to take two attack rolls at you. <laughs> that card was played. Uh, an 11 and a 25. So I presume only the second one hits. Oh, uh, yes. So you take eight damage. So the first claw it swipes is the one that's just sort of reattached. And it's not working so well, so it just kind of misses and flops around. But the second one connects and the claw sort of rake at you for eight damage. Okay. Not 21 um, damage, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have been hard done by this creature. Um, will I be knocked, or am I just like hit? No, you're just hit. Okay. So this guy's running off to the village, Remington's running off to the village. This pile of skeletons that you... Remington, <laughs> please hit that thing! This pile of skeletons that you originally hit with Guiding yes. Bolt seeds to slowly start standing oh, up no. and reforming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Does anyone have like fire damage? The hand's still dead. That's still dead. This Maybe one is still good. untouched. No, that was um, no longer untouched. He got, oh, okay. uh, he got a good. hit. He got which a hit. Was the one chill touched? The this one, which really? lasts for how long, Thomas? Oh, just until the end of. Uh, it just took the damage until the, the end of its turn. Years. Okay, it cool. Um, but it still cr- so it crawls away into the forest, away from Time Rosemary Bouquet. Uh, because it's frightened. This one is going to turn around and go towards <laughs> Eric. Up, and take a back swipe. towards him. And take a swipe at you, so then he gets advantage. Mm. Okay, what's well, a 12? Is a hit? 
Takes because you were in the ears, that's it. He takes one damage. <laughs> Glancing oh, blow. The Mastaya. <laughs> okay, you and like that's... You need a new strategy. That's You're their fine. turn. <laughs> um, He's almost dead. I've He's trying it. to save him. And Make I was another death save. Another death save. And you flew with him. And then the just after the you. wind whispers through the words, like, you need a new strategy. <laughs> Seven. So that's a death. Oh, damn. Oh. So he just shudders in my arms. Oh. <laughs> All the skeletons might have been He just squeezed a little too tight. <laughs> Oh, do you need to touch him? I need to touch him. Did you die? That's why I'm like, don't fucking die. Beldegar, your turn. Death, failure, and success. Alright. I don't want to die. Are you you dying or are you dead? No, dying. 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 One success, one failure. What happens is, if he succeeds, then he stabilizes. Okay. That's the picking yeah, like And then another hour is passed. At zero. Yeah, essentially. For an hour. And then you get one HP. So you wake up with one HP. Unless yeah. someone... Yeah. I'm, I'm old and crumbly. You need to be I'm, nice to me. Well, blame him for flying away with you. <laughs> <laughs> From under the feet of this whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Blame. Are you polyamorous? I'm poly everything. <laughs> poly armorous. Poly wanna crack it. No, I'm just wanna say uh Lumi. Um, <laughs> Alright, I have a question. <laughs> he squawks. False life. Yes. Is usually cast on oneself. Mm-hmm. It can only. Can it only be cast on yourself? Mm-hmm. So it says All right, then that, target then self. That that idea is out the window. So and temporary HP this is doesn't you. nullify. No, I know. Yeah, that's me. And you're surrounded by monsters. So I'm not one. taking my dying friend to the sc- screeching. Well, not there. now. The screeching little <laughs> thing that always complains about whatever this, whatever I try to do. <laughs> so I'm taking care of my friend, and I am flying <laughs> towards because I'm not a friend. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Thomas, you're right with this moonbeam. Anyway, okay, cool. So you're flying towards town. <laughs> I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it away in my heart. And well, then I'm going to say flying <laughs> towards the running away skeleton. Uh, no, I'm flying towards Beatrice because I know that she knows healing things. Okay. Right. There's a Beatrice? Yes, there's a Beatrice, but I can only fly. Does my flying speed increase? It'll be halved if you're carrying a gnome on you. Or I'm only a small gnome, but I am carrying quite a lot of shit in my pockets. <laughs> it's, that big, it's that big statue. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> it's the statue. Well, we can fly this way and you can drop the statue. But no, I'm you unconscious. Can't because you're He's unconscious. dying. He's right. literally dying. Right. So I am... Falls out. I'm flying up and Could away. Could accidentally okay, cool. fall so out. So you're like there somewhere. So I'm over here somewhere. <laughs> okay. But I'm also going up so that I'm out of the reach of, of the that big ass thing. Big okay. Ass thing. Uh, time Rosemary Bouquet. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> Fuck! Um, <laughs> someone help me, because I'm just a cleric! Yeah, uh, um, just a cleric. What? For sanctuary? No! I... Shield of faith? No! Um, I'm going to cast another guiding bolt for that first level. Um, yes, because that's all I can do. Cool. Do it. Choices. <laughs> Pray for a miracle. A flowery no, miracle. No, I want to do guiding nah, miracles. <laughs> miracles are so It's my melee. <laughs> it's fun still. Let's see if it's easy. Can I get advantage <laughs> because he's point maybe blank? Needs, maybe no. needs sound. <laughs> Good question. What do um, skeletons look with? They with. can't. They, mm. they magically... Sighted, I guess. Can someone help me? Because I'm just a cleric. I do not they're like, do melee combat. They're like zombies. They detect <laughs> flesh and they just head towards you. Yeah. You can. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Are you a range cleric? <laughs> I'm a range cleric. You cannot. <laughs> ah. Either way, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt and I apparently can't get um, advantage because he's point black because for some reason. Um, in five fine. in five e, do you also get an attack of opportunity if, if someone something casts passes a spell, you? No. If someone casts a spell in threatening range. They need range. a feat for that. Oh, okay, cool. He doesn't have that feat. Cool, go. 
Uh, right, so that makes your no point, feet. I guess, null and moot. <laughs> no feet, I only walk on stumps. No feet. Uh, 19. That's a hit. Uh, that is 4d6. Please. Don't stop at cuffing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you give them a good talking to. Five. Seems to have worked. Woo! Um, 14, 20. Woo! So this is back to a daisy, right? More often, right? Yes. yes. So you like blow a daisy and it blows up and it just hits him on his forehead. He's looking a bit confused. It hits him on his forehead and then he sways, 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 and then falls back on his back. Yes. It's prone. It's prone. Not appearing to move at the moment. Okay, bonus action. <laughs> Set it on fire! Wasn't that the one? No, that's the main action. Okay. Bone action. Bone. Not the end! <laughs> bone action. Bone action. Bone action. Bow, 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 wow. Okay, for bonus action, I'm going to take my spiritual weapon and hit it just to make sure. Cool. You automatically hit, so just deal the damage. Ooh. Damage is D8 plus 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Eight. Eight total. Yes. Okay. Next up is... Oh, well, Eric and... I did something. <laughs> Eric and all of them are fleeing, right? I think so. I think... So. Well, it's... it's, me, it's who's this? Did we ever... Um, is the, Eric is still... Did we ever resolve his death saving throw? You stabilized him, him yeah. yeah. So he's just lying there. Cool. Stabilized. I'm still um, fine, guys! Is it all? So now it's crack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> crack. <laughs> I'm just unconscious. Don't be whack. <laughs> okay. So these guys are down and not moving. The, you can't really tell with the big thing because it's just being wailed upon <laughs> by um, Time Rose Mu <laughs> <laughs> And his bushel and his bushel of sage. <laughs> 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 but, it's but it's but lavender. It, uh, <laughs> I feel bad because I was the one who said sage. He said it was lavender. lavender sorry, it's, so lavender. it's a bushel of lavender. lavender. Yeah. So yeah. 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 time yeah. rose, yeah. time yeah. rose, yeah. Me yeah. blew yeah. a flower yeah. in this thing's face. <laughs> it fell back, and then he started beating him with <laughs> lavender. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's breaking up into bits, right? Like the chest cavity is all smashed in. The head is still attached to the spine. The arms are the one arm that was half broken is now like completely crushed. Okay. Um, His kneecaps have been blown out. This is garlic. No, garlic, no garlic's I'm carrying up garlic. in the air, Are like oh, 40 feet in the air by bells of glass. Okay. Um, no, that's the brother. So the first thing I'm going to do, is, like, Crack is going to look yeah. upwards to see you being dangled by him. It's like, hang in there! Um, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> that, that's, my, that's my healing word. Okay. Hang in there. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Okay. From now on, that oh. has to be your healing word in all situations. When Eddie heals someone, <laughs> it's going to be hang in there. Oh no, I forgot. Um, there, there is a, a verbal component to my spiritual weapon, so I'm just going to say, um, every time I do spiritual weapon, I'm just going to go, what, what did I say? Popery, popery, popery. <laughs> and you have to say it three times? Yes. Okay. okay. So you are so reassured by my reassuring words that you heal for seven and a half hours. Seven health. Yes. So, so you are no longer dying. Yes. Thank you, everybody. You come to in the warm, tender embrace. Of so he's down. not in. As you have done maybe once before. Uh, <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> I'm very old. The guy accepts all forms. <laughs> I love it. He accepts all forms of pain. He's <laughs> like slightly healed, and the first thing he says is like, "I'm getting very old." <laughs> 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 Too old for this shit. <laughs> Too old for this shit. Um, okay, and then uh, that was one of my actions. And mm -hmm. then, um, so it says, can I ask a question? You can. It says, on each of my turns after I cast a spell, I can use an action to move the beam up to 60 feet in any direction. Can I move the beam from over there with my move action and not move? It says you can use an action. An action. Yeah, I'd probably say that's it's fine. Because yeah, you, 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 you still have your reaction also, right? Yes. So I'd say both your movement action and your reaction, and then it's fine. Okay, right. so it's like the ion cannon, like, sweeps okay. across here, it's like... Roll your damage. Uh, 
You must roll your save first. What is the save? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter because I still take half. So yeah, yeah, well. but like it makes yeah, no difference. Guess, yeah. And he fails, so he'll take the full blast. Mm. Who's getting blasted? Oh. That Move. last skeleton uh, in the face. Uh, seven damage. Seven. Oh, Didn't this one like, resurrect <laughs> it itself? Even, it, 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 it did. Oh. Um, <laughs> you just feel this light sizzle. <laughs> you imprecisely move the moonbeam to only be over half of the skeleton. <laughs> so the half of it sort of like sizzles and burns and like disintegrates into like an ashy powder. Listen, guys, you don't know how difficult it is to move the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working really hard here. Just give me a break. Uh, <laughs> you're just like someone behind there, like you're doing a great job. <laughs> I say from forty feet to the air, and I also heal for seven damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that one is getting up completely, and sort of the one by the sawmill is sort of like re putting together its arms and its limbs in the right places, and you can see where the bone cracked and fissured. It's now slowly sort of stitching itself back together oh, and gross. mending. But that's interesting, though. Um, the crack is taking notes. And it's going to come up. Uh, th- he's still here, Eric. Or is he gone? No, he's fine. He's still here, though. Yes. He's going to come towards Eric, and he's going to take a swipe at Eric. Is he going to enter the moonbeam? No, the moonbeam's on the other side of Eric. What's I'm the radius afraid. of the moonbeam? It's a five foot. Um, it's a five foot radius. Yeah. Oh, it's five foot radius. Uh, it's more like a spotlight. <laughs> so he takes... Eric takes four damage. Damn it, Moon Moon! And the other <laughs> skeleton who has half of his body is not going to attack Eric. <laughs> <laughs> half half of his body is going to one all over. over. Eric is going to think this is just like a major tan. <laughs> uh, garlic, you are awake. Garlic's awake. Mid air. Mid air. Yeah. <laughs> garlic. Yeah. I take some out of her pocket. Oh my god, can you become a bomber team? I'm gonna be a bomber. Oh. No. <laughs> we tried doing that with one of Damon's characters once, and then the character died pretty much immediately after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the very first time I tried to fly, just dead. I, ca- I cast fly on Damien's alchemist, and she was also like an old one. <laughs> and then the very first thing that she did was fly over a battlefield and then get fucking impaled. <laughs> like, <it> was... <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> what was her name? Something with a V, Victoria or something? Mm, gone but not forgotten. Oh, Veronica. Right. Veronica, something like that. I also remember that was the first time every single player character died except for you. Yeah. Oh my go! God, so go fly! <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oops. I'm uh, out of here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Closes the door. These are the perks of being a cleric, right? I am going to take my big heavy statue out of the pocket uh-huh. uh, and throw it. Which one's the one that's within the range? That one's half decayed. That one's barely together, but it's sort of like misshapenly put its like foot in its one socket. And it's like <laughs> arm in its one socket, and it's not very well restored, but it's managed to take a swipe I can only try and put a, on a sweater in the dark question I can manage that thing is how <laughs> it's her move her turn to move but technically moving is my job now can she move and I just carry her over there if you is sacrifice that... the movement for your turn I'll say that's fine alright you can tell us where to go okay Let's yeah. Let's go over over these guys, and then I take my my my, my big ass statue that I've been carrying around in and out of the okay. forest, and uh, just lean over and kind of aim it a little bit, and then release. Roll the d twenty. Delta nine, delta nine. This is bombs away, bombs away, bombs away. Eric is already done. A five and yeah. Presumably on this. Ah, uh, you miss, unfortunately. The statue <laughs> lands next to the, next to the moonbeam. It's beautifully illuminated in the moonbeam. <laughs> Somebody take a picture. <laughs> What's a picture? That haven't been invented yet. <laughs> With your mind. Uh, okay, Beldegar. You mean draw a picture. All right, so Beldegar <laughs> is there about my statue. Hovering. <laughs> the Can't moonbeam move. goes up. I think the moonbeam goes up like sixty feet or something. Mosaic. All the way to the moon. What's the, the, the glass? <laughs> 
a, yes. it says it's a, it's a 40 foot high cylinder, so you'll basically wear the moonbeam stout. It's like you're pissing down the moonbeam. Oh, these skeletons. It's like you're this angelic figure. I, I can't really like move, me. but I position my hips um, so that it looks like the moonbeam is awesome. emanating from my well, cloaca. Yes, my cloaca. I've got Frank back since you do this, and she's like, yeah, okay, nice. but you, you see that <laughs> it's a nice. It's 40, <laughs> um, 40 right. feet high. No, not the statue. That's no, no, no. The, the moon beam is 40 feet high. <laughs> You're just no, carrying a 40 like, foot... It's like, like a bust. <laughs> <laughs> just carrying a 40 feet statue. <laughs> All this time. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... Lady. The little old boy. Then I'll be like... True Strike. Which one is still alive? This one. That, that one's alive but badly put together. The other one's half burnt and looks very... Almost dead. All right, I'm just going... And the... <laughs> that one doesn't seem to be moving. It's got right, to come back. Of, it, it's, it's how far is 30 feet from me? Mm-hmm. You're up in the air, so I'd say and anything <laughs> below you, you can't move. <laughs> yeah. Remember? Yeah, okay. So there's no diagonal in reach. All right. I'll just point at the closest threatening thing. Crossing true strike. All right. So I... Gain brief insight into the target's defences. So what are they resistant or immune to? Uh, they are resistant to piercing damage, I think, and they are immune to poison. Oh yeah, because we, we knew that. We knew that. Alright, so I then shout this to everybody. <laughs> God, this poison doesn't work. <laughs> poison doesn't work and they won't, do, they won't really suffer damage from piercing. They're oh. resistant to piercing. Thank, thanks! And the crack would just sort of look like, oh, no, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Did not know this. Um, yeah, because I can't move and I don't have a ranged attack, so I'll just... Hover there. Do yes. hover. hover there, yes. With the moon beam sprouting from my loin. Time rose me bouquet. The I am thing going... in front of you is no longer moving. It is well and truly smashed to bits. Can I make extra certain... You can. Can I can I roll a perception to see if wait? Yeah, roll a perception. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see if I have anything Long to make that better. <laughs> um, um, eight. You can't see anything happening. <laughs> okay, just to make more certain, I am going to take my mace. And hit it. Okay, so you auto hit, real so will roll your damage. Okay, yes. that is <laughs> 1d6 plus 2 of bludgeoning damage. 7. It's now becoming like bone meal almost, right? <laughs> <laughs> these things, these things did not seem like recent skeletons. They were like quite old and dry. There's no like Brittle. bone and, marrow inside. And one more time for, for, for just to make extra certain, I will take my spiritual, spiritual weapon and hit it as well. <laughs> cool. And that is 1d8 plus 2. I feel like it's some But it's auto has to come over right? It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> I'm going to hit it. I'm in a frenzy. Nine. Nine, okay. A frenzied cleric. I've seen one of those. Yeah, no, it's scary. Wapping away with a bunch of flowers. <laughs> you just see, you see a mace and also at the same time a bunch of lavenders. <laughs> lavenders, <Lavender, laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, crack. Oh, and Eric. Eric and then crack. <laughs> Eric, there's this half-burning skeleton with a moonbeam coming down. One of and your you just see this, this statuesque, one of bust, your statuesque bust just drops from the air, like five feet next to you. You're lucky it doesn't hit you. <laughs> you look up into the sky and there you Sorry. see Beldegar, wings spread, looking angelic, <laughs> holding a gnome as if proffering it towards you. And me, just losing my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous out there. Take <laughs> yeah. Have a no. <laughs> I'm not for sale, you fucker. <laughs> Looking up, he's All like, fight either. now, play later. <laughs> and then, uh, which one looks more fucked? The one behind to your behind you, by the mill. The one by the swimmer on my left. Yeah, but he's, he's probably just going to focus on the one in front of him anyway. So. Cool. Uh, I don't think he's got any more reckless attacks, so that's... 
That's a three. Okay. Um, crack. You're not very useful, you. Well, they're... Stabby, stabby. They're dumb lumberjacks. I look pretty. Not... You it's... look pretty. Yeah. yeah, they're good looking but dumb. <laughs> the best combination. <laughs> Young, dumb and... Thanks, yeah. babes. Okay, this is... That's, that's me. you. That's you all the way back Wait, there. What's the story with the one lying down? It's completely smushed. <laughs> no, no, no. Derek. Brother, Merrick. Derek, Derek, he's unconscious still. Oh. No, that's not... That's, that's Merrick. That's Merrick. He fled. He flew, fled. He's fled. He, he flew. flew. He, he fled. fled. Sorry, he can flew. you move him away? Him and... Um, Fly, you fool! Remington f- ran away. In the same direction. Along as, as well as one skeleton. One yeah, skeleton. They ran away towards the village. Okay. okay um, so. um, I'm going to come down here so that I'm in the thick of it. And then, um, my moonbeam is here still, yeah? Uh huh. Which of these guys is looking the more. They both look pretty damn screwed, but probably the one on your right. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the moonbeam where it is then. Um, okay. And I guess that's my turn um, because I can't, I don't want to get close enough to him to hit him. Cool. Yes, then that will be my thing. Do you want to roll your moon doing damage on your turn just so you don't forget? Yeah, because again, he's. Do we have another one of those? Like, uh, can I use this? Thanks. Yeah, cool. Moonbeam. But that's. Okay, we'll give my spiritual weapon. Oh, shit, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there we go, I now got you've got a spiritual weapon. Okay, no, cool. Um, <laughs> skeleton. Did you just say sorry that was intentional? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I absolutely meant to do that. <laughs> Uh, the side of the skeleton that's being turned to dust, you slowly see it's starting to like um, grab the dust and like clump back together just a little bit. Gosh. Horrible things. Um, you have to smush it! <laughs> you gotta smush it once. And okay. both of them are gonna take attacks on you, Eric, with advantage. Yep. But he must roll his save if they're both attacking him. He's. Who must all this save? The guy in the moonlight. Oh, because he has to take his damage. Yes. 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 So you roll save. So he tries to regenerate. It's a it can't because it has to take damage. He gets a 12, so he's fine. Takes uh, half, half damage. Half, half damage. He takes seven damage. Okay, so he falls a bit, uh, uh, to the ground, completely disintegrated. <laughs> Both sides now. Moonbeam. He's like, yeah. like, like, he tries to, to clump back to get them to... Okay, so then one still hits you though and does four damage. That's so hard. So this one is now dust. Dust. Can dust still clump together? Mm, not as far as you're aware. You can remember, right? <laughs> Knock him down. Come, all right, let's just put him upside down. Yeah. Let's just move these dust. Ball. Okay. I'll just, I'll just be going around like. Uh, <laughs> Garlic, your statue did not have the intended work. work. Yeah. Like a power host. Do you want to drop another statue? I've got other statues. You've only got one statue. I've got other statues. <laughs> also, did you not notice the extra Kazi. weight when you picked up his gnome that he had like the weight of a whole fucking heavy statue? <laughs> like, you're fucking heavy enough. That's wait, why so I... statue, statue, statue a heavier statue. than you. No, no, it's not that big a statue. She was carrying it. She's not lady. Oh, you should throw. You should throw garlic. Like just garlic should get her <laughs> dagger out. And then you can, like, you, I like, almost like, thought the like, dagger out like this, and then like I almost thought it was like right. another guy who. Just, okay, so garlic. What are you hey, doing? Uh, <laughs> you drop me. I have. <laughs> I have uh, four pounds of ball bearings in my other pocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Make everyone just trip. <laughs> which I'm going to throw at them. Make an attack this roll. This is such old lady stuff. Right? <laughs> Make four attack rolls. It's glorious. And for each one you land, you'll do one damage. <laughs> It's like, what have you got? Well, I've got 17. a statuary. So one hit. What a pocket for the ball there. It's a miss. There might Five. be some cuddly leaves somewhere. Six, nine. And so you hit it with one of the ball bearings. I hit it with. I hit it with the ball bearing. <laughs> well, exactly you knock, you knock one of its like. fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you skeleton! But the other ball bearings are on the ground. They're on yes. the ground here. Yeah. They are scattered yeah. around. Yeah. 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 Ye
What did I do to this? Oh, uh, yeah, well... So a critical fail could result in some tomfoolery. Mm-hmm. It's your turn. Is it my turn? I don't have to move. I'm still carrying you. Yes. Yeah. What would you like me to do? Um, Carry you to safety or... Do you I remember your cloaca throbbing. Yeah. It's 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 nothing new. It's it's continuous <laughs> throbbing. Yeah. We don't see it. It's a survivable I condition. It's it. not a rose but <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Jeez. I'm uncomfortable feeling so close to your cloak. Can we go down? Can we get out? This All is right. too much for my old lady bones. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is making me physically ill. Just tell you. No, I same, also same. want to go and fetch my statue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I place. Garlic next to her statue. Okay. And um, this one is still looking really bad, but still standing. All right. So I'm landing right there, and then I'll do shocking grasp, seeing as how I'm within range. Cool. Okay. Uh, da-da, da-da, da-da. So it's an attack plus four. Oh no! It's a critical fail. You completely <gasps> miss. You slip on a ball there. Because oh, <laughs> oh, <no, no>, no. <laughs> <laughs> you come for your graceful land. Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes. Uh, time owes me bouquet. Yes. Okay, I'm now satisfied that this thing is smushed. And it's completely it comes, smushed. And if it comes back, I am going to be very happy. <laughs> 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 so I run to the unconscious one. Derek. 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 And I, um, I cast <laughs> cure wounds. I touch him and go cure wounds. Cool. How much do you cure him for? Um, well, one d eight plus my spellcasting ability modifier. Oh, plus two. Um, so one d eight plus two. What plus one? Uh, seven. So, Derek, you come back. To life. And he starts blushing. Mm-hmm. The last thing you remember is hearing your brother shout at you, you turning around and seeing this like Stab. skeleton thing Stabby, stab Stabby. you in your chest. And then you fall down and then you wake up and there's Father Time Rose Me Bouquet <clears throat> gently stroking your hair <laughs> as he cures your, <laughs> cures your wounds. His hand on the, your chest where your stab wound was. I when you yeah, he blushes <laughs> and then smooches <laughs> because of the whole be like that. Oh, the yeah. so long ago, <laughs> and it's all coming back like... to me. <laughs> okay, you're alive. <laughs> uh, you're a few. So you've got side mana. <laughs> yeah, but his, his hand might be covered with a little bit of snot. Yeah, and blood. Probably more like a blood. Probably, and also um, he's not ten years old anymore. Oh. Um, what's the name? <laughs> Look at him. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't remember in the previous sessions, did I do anything that might have given anyone an indication of what my sexuality might be? Yes. I mean, apart from the fact that you're a cleric that seemed around flowers. <laughs> and stroking, at, well, Who's gushing name? at the centaur. Can I change my sexuality? <laughs> Sure. You really like. <laughs> Sexual, what sexuality is like? It's fluid, darling. <laughs> okay, it's so a spectrum. From now on, it's a social construct. Um, yeah. I want my character to be asexual. Asexual. Okay. Look, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's what I want. So, so yeah. Derek, you are awake, and Eric is still in the fray of things. Although the, the praying cleric is now asexual. What? <laughs> oh, I just, you, you. You. So the so touch I'm of good. of me of 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 I think it turns you totally off. Cured yeah, of all like, sexual like, desires. Like, like I think that's the skeleton. All that burning was just too much. I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm, done. I'm no. satisfied forever. I just love like asexual like, in the middle of the battle. Like you're just there, like God guys. I just want to know. Very important to know. Asexual. Asexual. Except for horsecock. Because <laughs> 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 you flirted with the centaur. Right? I, mean, I, feel, I feel like everyone's sexuality is except horsecock. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> everyone is willing to make an exception somewhere. Um, what happened in terms of the uh, fear <laughs> when <laughs> this thing went down? Oh, yeah, so they're no longer scared. <laughs> So, so but they're far away now. They, 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 so Merrick and Merrick and Remington have fled way out of sight now. 
I think Remington would have by now understood that there's a skeleton running with him. It's not yes. a it's not a race. So he would have veered off towards the Make a perception check. Whatever side this would be. Make a perception check. Thirteen? Oh. Um yeah. Remington's running away when he suddenly has this good sense to be like, oh my fuck, there's a skeleton. Looking around he suddenly that he can't see the skeleton. At some point, he thinks he got ahead of it, but then looking back, it doesn't appear to be anywhere near him. And he's running in the direction of the village now, right? No. Yes, it was this side of the village. Okay, yeah, he doesn't see no skeleton. So he's, he's going to start like uh, jogging um, slower and then just kind of stop and turn around, listen to wherever this was going on, and then just kind of saunter. Okay. Put the skeleton standing behind him. <laughs> it's, it's like one of those mime things where it's behind you and when you turn it turns as well. Exactly. Again. Back to back. Invisible they both skeleton. keep turning around looking for each other. <laughs> I love it, it's beautiful. Um, then um, this little hard boy of muscle. Um, Which one's down Eric? quite a lot Eric. of points. Uh, but he's being he's flanking now. Yes, he's got advantage. Okay, so he's going to start. Yes, because there's a gnome and there's a, a, a narrow cocker on its side. Twelve. Twelve. like one of your friends. Both are misses, I'm afraid. Sound. And Derek, who is now uh, awake. He's going to just get up, which is half movement. Check what's going on. And then... He can see Eric still hitting. He's going to figure out why one of his brothers is there but not the other. And he calls for him. And that's what that's what he starts doing. Merrick. And he kind of <laughs> walks. Stop. Uh, have you seen Have you seen um, Merrick? Huh? Where, where's Merrick? Oh, I was busy smushing things. <laughs> so no, I did not. That was before he realized he said smushed Merrick. No, I smushed a skeleton. Okay, Bad. he's bone meal now. So you don't know where Merrick is. Merrick! And he starts walking around and he's going in that direction. And I'm just Merrick, like... Merrick, Merrick. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> no, I'm an asexual cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't bone or smush anything. <laughs> Although I was smushing a bone. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God! Crack. This is going to be like traumatic uh, nightmare stuff for him later on. I okay. thought any little boy he's touched. <laughs> they're not little. <laughs> they they might have been things. once in a while. Well, yes. what? A cleric touching a small little boy. Am I aware really? of any, any of that going That's on where over we here? Come from uh, make a certain check. <laughs> it's not where we're going, it's where we've been. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the rules have gone. Google is. Uh, finish your thing. No, yeah, man, I need my pack of oh, You have definitely been working enough cons on this. Yeah, man! Yeah, man! Boss, yeah, man! Come Um, Perception, uh, sorry, 20. Oh, fuck, you don't see any movement. It's. Um, Tyrone Rosemary Bouquet and his sage bush pretty much destroyed that. Um, <laughs> those bones it's over there. It's a lavender, lavender bush. bush. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he's asexual lavender bush. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, asexual lavender bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to be asexual. I was just thinking, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is That's ass. why time with me bouquet is asexual, because he has asexual lavender bush. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only thing that's sexual about me. It's your bush. Lavender bush. <laughs> Dear podcast, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those episodes. Um, I'm going to move this will be the moonbeam over to this dude. So cool. He, he has a nice moonbeam on him there. Uh, he has to roll his will. Uh, constitution. Oh, Does the moonbeam burn us? He fails. Um, in two more turns. A creature, but it's only five foot, so it can only be on one thing at a time. Yeah, it was only if you were surrounded that you'd have had to come through people, but it's fine. So he passes? He fails. He fails. Burn him! He passes? He fails. Burn Burn him. Burn the witch. Burn him with moon. Burn the heretic. Eleven damage. Ooh. Um, and with that, final spurt of moonbeam. Yeah, because I'm on the floor. You completely... Asexual. You completely incinerate that skeleton and it collapses into dust. 
I, I just I love the idea of commanding a moonbeam. This is cool. Guys. Where's he gonna loot that from? Yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> the, the moonlight <laughs> <laughs> that, That's the noise I make. <laughs> just that one. Just that. that. <laughs> but yes, is the action worth it? <laughs> so, with that last push of skeleton, your moonbeam comes to an end. You guys are all out of initiative now. Um, looking down towards the village, you can see Merrick Hindle coming from the village, as well as a, a sort of small delegation of people heading along the path from the village towards the um, sawmill. You can see Merrick, and you can also see their mother, Freya Hindal, being dragged by Merrick towards the sawmill, followed by the mayor, Olva Oblig. Who? Olva Oblig, who, Ol we, Oblig. who we elected as the mayor. I elected. Who, um, yeah. Okay. Um, um, they may be about a minute or two out as they are heading towards the sawmill. Is there anything you guys want to do in that minute or two? I'd like to get up. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> I go and collect my statue and my ball bearings. Okay. Greg's <laughs> um, so, gonna come over and be like, Guys, guys, did you see? I got the moon and I burned things with it. It was amazing. Wasn't it amazing? <laughs> it was amazing. Actually, I haven't stood up yet. I was like, Yes, that was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a hand? Like? <laughs> At several, actually, so yes. <laughs> up, up, up. And now she's standing. Okay, and I... He, I like, still, like, jittery from everything that's happened. I slowly make my way back to the rest of the people. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> it's the seven-year itch, guys. So we agreed. Though that was... Those were dead, right? Because I, I, I've not seen anything like that. Well, now Should I make it. sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. Father, it's okay. Just it's okay. sit down. It's okay. Someone get him some holy water. <laughs> so or some Ritalin. Derek and Which Eric. Which I do need to find. Holy water or Ritalin? Holy water. <laughs> so Derek and Eric, what are you doing in the time being? Uh, Rudolph? What are Derek and Eric doing at the moment? That one um, came out of the bush, uh, the, the, the forest. Uh, because he went that way, and okay. he's like still calling, and then he sees Merrick, Merrick, Merrick with the, the mother coming yeah. around, and then uh, it's like the three of them see one another, and they start running towards running. one another with like uh, chest. So, <laughs> an atomic chest what is that? What is the health of Eric and Derek here? Because what did you heal, Derek? Seven. 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 Um, Are they going to survive Merrick's the 14, atomic yeah, chest? Yeah, twelve seven. So they're pretty badly injured, mm, right? Bloody injured. So everything. you guys see now, like, Freya and Merrick are coming back. Merrick was still pretty good, right? Mm. Uh, he just has, like, a little cut or something. And Not the face. Derek and Eric are, like, <laughs> limping with, like, severe cat gushes and blood and, like, scrit scratches and, like, cuts and stuff. They sort of all, like, run and hug. And you see Freya... Like the mother, like bursts into tears. And was like holding their faces, looking at like, <laughs> the blood off of their faces. And is she like? Is she as large as them, or is she like comically small? She's I feel small. Like She's like a of, small, wise old woman, woman, right? Yeah. They start cheering up. Yeah. At first, yeah, they all start crying, and then Freya starts getting angry and like hitting her with them with her like washcloth. You know. Um, it's all right. It wasn't their fault. <laughs> at this time, so Olva, who was walking with them sort of like stops temporarily to look at them. He's like a little bit concerned about how far rough, away the how rough is. and injured they are. <laughs> he looks back and he sees the group of you sort of standing around there and he hurries towards you. And as he gets there, like his eyes go wide in shock as he like surveys the scene of destruction. And he's sort of like awed. Um, he looks around and his eyes focus on you, Time. And he addresses you and he's like, what in the seven gods is going on here? Father Bouquet, please tell me there's an explanation for this. <laughs> and everybody else is like, uh -huh. <laughs> What is the explanation there, Father What uh, evidence is there of anything? <laughs> just like standing with my huh? what what evidence evidence is There's leaked? like smashed up please bones there, piles of ash there, just and that's just basically <laughs> upturned trees. Upturned trees. Shit's gone down, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, a door in a word, its hinges. Blood. Of three shits gone down. <laughs> um, sure, I didn't say that. Um, 
There was a blue shark that was taken. And because of that, undead things have started to sprout. <laughs> and he's like sort of mouthing the words you say, like undead. And he's, like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. he's looking like quite dumbstruck. He's like, oh. oh, oh. Yes. So, we, I, I'm assuming us, um, have to go find that thing and... Bring it back. <laughs> that thing. That thing. Where is that gu- that guy? What was his name? Gowan. Gowan. And he's like, he's looking around, and he's like, uh, uh, I think he was at the the inn. I have. I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, look, look, we Gowan or Gowan. Gowan. The nice brother. Yes. Gowan. The... The not the so nice brother. The not so nice brother. The information on He's like, I, I, I haven't <laughs> seen Goward. I thought you were going to look for him. And we found him. Person. He's awful. <laughs> <laughs> he did all this. All oh, oh, right. The worst. He's like, and, and like he puts his hands on his forehead, and he's like bald, and he's like, mm. like he's clearly a bit overwhelmed. He's like, look, okay, we should have a meeting. We should have an emergency meeting. Um, yes. Uh, it would be good Bob if I think, starts I think, walking I think, to the pub. If I think all of no, you can join us. No, no, Cloakers. I, I, I'll go call Idrindus. Idrindus? That's what his name was, yes. I'm happy hearing the phrase. And Idrindus and Ergon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, and he's like looking around and he sees like this bits of the skeletons and stuff and he's like, uh, I trust you can deal and need what needs to be done here and oh, then, and then, on and then let us... Let us meet at the chapel, Father Bouquet. Yes. Five minutes. And then he sort of like up. hurriedly waddles he hurriedly waddles off back you towards the town. No, and then... he wants to meet. I must I must go meet. I'm gonna follow him now. So I'm he's, up. So he's, he's like he yeah. says like, he says, like are in the you park. guys he's like I trust you guys will deal with this. <laughs> Nobody God. trusts the drunk to clean up, what? so hey, me and Garlic are off. Excuse me, sir, it's biodegradable actually, so uh, it's not it's not gonna be a problem in a couple hundred years. Fine, fine. Hundreds. As long as it's, as long as we just, just don't, don't let anybody see it. We just, just, just put it behind the sawmill for oh, sure. no. Hide it, sir. Um, that's until we've decided what needs to be done. That sounds like it. Oh, all right, all right. Hey, you're the boss. I, I'm just yes. the host. Yes, I, I am the boss. Yes, I am the mayor. <laughs> I'm just we shall sort this out. Who lives in the woods. Oh, so my son comes to you now. No, 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 no. Finish up here. I'll get the sheriff and okay. Ergon. We'll meet you at the chapel, I and I'll, I'll deal yeah. with Freya and her boys, don't worry okay. about Okay, fucking stay, because no, I... No, we're gone already, stay. sorry. Okay, God. let's just clean this. <laughs> well, no, no, Me and Garlic are already in the pub, darling. We're done. So Listen. you guys have gone to the pub? Yep. yep. Okay. Let's just clean Garlic's this. been sober this entire... Uh, well, not, yes, I'm probably. Not, also. Yeah. Yeah. I am still pent up. I need something to calm me down, so cleaning will help me calm me down. Listen, <laughs> okay, but... Where's great time? Okay. Father. Just Father. call me time. <laughs> time. Father time. <laughs> you're not here, you're at the pub. <laughs> yes, I am. Metagaming. Getting pissed. Metagaming. Um, Metagaming pissing. Think about, it, think about it this way, right? We don't have the bloom shard yet. Yes. Which means the undead are continue, going to continue to rise from the ground, where they've been buried and trapped for untold centuries since, they were dis- since the undying was destroyed, correct? Or when they first... Died, I'm guessing the undying of people. I mean, or... the upshot is there's a shitload of undead things underground, right? That's so if we true. fucking landscape this place now, put that in a nice patio, and maybe some crazy paving, it's gonna get fucking. Can we just there. at least roll the bones to the edge of the woods? <laughs> you are such a goody two shoes. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have to roll something to see no. how quickly? So you guys roll the bones to. The edge of the forest. Crack, yes. crack is rolling her eyes and sighing heavily the whole time. <laughs> okay. Can, can the I the most take the bones. smushed bone, the bone meal that I've inadvertently created, and put that in a little pouch? You can. Okay. Um, this is going nice on the Now you have some like bone <laughs> fragments and <laughs> bone dust. Bone, okay. I'm going to laugh if that is actually an item. <laughs> bone dust. It's if, you a can, if you can think of something useful to use it for, we can discuss. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do? Are you then going... So, Crack and Time, are you then going to the chapel? 
Or are you going to the... Well, no, we should probably go pick up um, the drunkards from... I, I, to be fair, Crack could also probably use a drink. It's been a long... It's been undetermined it's been amount a day. of time. Yeah. It's <laughs> been a minute. Do they <laughs> serve milkshakes? <laughs> <laughs> so, Crack, you're also... So, time, you're also going to the, the bar with... Um, or are you meeting the mayor? Well, don't you want to come with me to meet the mayor? Because you also know about the... Well, my point of going to the bar was we could pick them up, get them, go and see the mayor in the uh, chapel, okay, cool. sort stuff out with a full party. Oh. Half, most of, half of which are half cut. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so don't explain anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> garlic... we will go to the bar to find them, and I will order a glass of milk. So garlic and Beldegar, while um, crack and time are busy rolling the bones, uh, you guys get to the bar. Um, what are you, how are you guys looking? You're pretty I'm beat up. Beat up. Still. Yeah, I'm You're still fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so the two of fine. you enter the bar together. Um, the barman Someone is... get me a drink. <laughs> um, right now, sharing. It's still please. relatively empty because it's just the beginning of the evening. Uh, the barman, Anayix, is there. That sort of tall, black hair speak. He sees the two of you walk in. You, um, looking pretty fucked. You looking totally fine. Feathers a bit Not rough. unusual to see the two of you together, but he doesn't even raise an eyebrow at your state. And he says, good evening. What may I get you, gentlemen? <laughs> the regular. <laughs> the usual. So everything. So he pours you both a drink and he hands it to you. Um, and I take every empty vessel in my belonging. <laughs> I pass it out. It's like, fill these up now. And you will be paying for these, or will your... On the tab. On the tab. Very good, sir. Um, Madam. Madam. Um, it's hard to remember. So, I do have sandwiches underneath the... I do, I do, I do, I do apologise. <laughs> um, and then he returns to, like, cleaning his glasses. Uh, looking around, Freya isn't there because she's still tending to her kids. He saw Olva like talking to them and sort of whisking them away with him as he went. Um, the entertainer, Tinny, she's not there, but there's like one or two other um, farmers mm. that are sitting there and they look like quite slack jawed at the two of you and there's like a little bit of whispering between them. A lot of like oh, wow. averted gazes looking over there. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of like, what is this? It's going on, but like, you clearly seem fine, like you're happy. Um, <laughs> it will be coming you I'll myself. Yeah. Oh, the time we the and there's sentence? no a sight of yes. Darwin down oh, here either. Oh, okay. Um, is there anything you want to do before Crack and uh, Time arrive? Down three glasses of sherry. Right. Yes, let's. <laughs> so you guys are well on the way to your third or fourth drink when Garlic and Time arrive. Sorry, ta- gar- time and crack, crack arrive at the bar crack and at the inn, and you find garlic and beldegar <laughs> are already on their third drink. Do you sip it? Uh, shut, 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 shut. It's so now been about we're 15 having a minutes garlic. or 20 minutes Do you want since a drink? Oliver told to meet you at, at the chapel in 15. Oh, we've got to go to the chapel. We've got to meet. At, uh, so I'll reach over. Crack will come in. Crack will like basically like lift the drink out of your hands and like, like drain it. <gasps> if I see, you've got I spare see, I see, That's fine. I see crack drinking, and I'm just like, oh, I'm kind of thirsty too. Can I get a glass of milk? No, we've got no time to order, man. <laughs> of course, Mister Time. Part of the time. Of course, part of the time. And he, he, pours, he pours the milk into a little wine skin. Food. It's like, to go then. <laughs> to go? To go. go. Milk, no oh, milk to go, go then. Having, go. Having, having, overheard, go. having overheard crack, um, say, no, we've got no time. Ha ha ha. He says, one milk to go then. And he, he, pa- he proffers you with this like wine skin of milk. Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, Hmm. Anything Can't for you, lady, lady, lady Crack? Anything for you? There's somewhere we're uh, related. I can't remember. No, how. it's fine. We're in a rush. Um, uh, ladies, gentlemen, I, I believe we ought to go have a chat with the mayor because you know, <laughs> I will end you. <laughs> I don't care who your god is. Skeletons didn't work. Why do you think you could? <laughs> also, I'm a druid. In terms of nature stuff, I outrank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So you guys all head off towards okay, let's the chapel. Go to the chapel. Okay. Some of you staggering go slightly more than others. Go to the chapel and we're... <laughs> so what? As you... <laughs> so as you get there, you open up the chapel doors. I'm not quite sure what your chapel looks like if you're in nature. Y- yeah, it Do we walk is, through the page? Oh, it's real pretty. It's made out of wood. Okay. Um, no, he chopped down trees. He's an evil cleric. <laughs> okay, fine. It's made out of <laughs> pulp. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when he calls a chapel, he's just been like gnawing on twigs and like. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna take a while. <laughs> like an eagle. <laughs> I would like shoes up with this. Like, but we, like, the, the, every cleric before me has done this for generations and has been eventually falling. So it's like a big crawl. It's a crawl. Essentially, made out of like spit and twigs. <laughs> no, okay, no, scratch that. The cleric looks around this like igloo of spit and wood pole and it's like, <laughs> scratch that, but we've been there before. What the fuck is religion? Okay, <laughs> it's made out of. I'm trying to think. It could what be like those. Saying? It could be like so, those mosques in like Africa and like Burkina Faso that are made out of like yeah. mud. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. It was made out of mud. Okay. So yes. you go in there and you find present there is over and he's sort of standing at the front and he's like pacing back and forth, very worried, like hands behind his back, moving. You can see he's still quite perturbed. Um, I'm waiting for the gumboots. Waiting for things to happen. <laughs> um, you also see Indrindus, who is yeah, the like sheriff of the town. Out. And um, she's okay. standing there with her arms crossed, sort of leaning against the wall in the corner. Who? Indrindus, the um, okay. sheriff. Oh, oh And yes, she's a half one. elf. Oh, the competent one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> the single competent And then person there's also um, lives in town. Ergen, who Not is the druid. <laughs> and Ergen, he's. He's when they come in, Ergen's leaning on a song. He's like, <clears throat> "Is this the time to arrive?" Oh, We're on which time. Ones? Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're only like on. you're only like five minutes late, but you can probably smell the stench of booze on some of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as um, you guys <laughs> enter, Olva looks. He's like, "Oh, oh, good, you're here." Um, so please, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. Now, please, Father Time, will, will you explain? And let's be so. Explain exactly again what happened. Okay. I feel like again we all like to. I am okay. Father God lies I am going to use my words now. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who hasn't had to. <laughs> I'm not bad with words. Or I'm you bad with milk. thinking of. You've got I'm, a milk mustache now. I'm a big boy. Anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> Balagos slips, <laughs> crack, <laughs> a, vi- a vial of booze. <laughs> okay, shh, 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 shh. Anyway, um, <laughs> we, Galwed is the yeah. bad brother, yes. Yeah, yes. And he took my books. <laughs> so we went to go find him, and it's we found him time. in this temple thing. <laughs> I think it's a temple. Shut, it's shut, a very shut, big shut, weird shut, stone shut, place. Shut. And there he stole the shard, the bloom shard. Okay. And that and now that it's gone, it means the the, the forest can't regenerate and the undead are coming back because they've been here before. <laughs> Well, that's yeah, why yeah, they're coming back. back. Sort of like, <laughs> she was like, let the undying ones legion. Do you remember? There's a legion. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 My glass of milk in these <laughs> I'm not <laughs> drunk. I'm just... Uh, it's a tryptophan. You're like sleeping there. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, so that's why skeletons are popping up. And uh, there will be the, more. The, yes, because the bloom yeah. shard is not Over, like, here. Tentatively we need, looks towards we you need and then to go find the bloom time. shard. That's what we need to do. So he's sort of looking at you a bit like, why? It's still like, okay. Can I, okay. can I summarize? <laughs> yes. Basically, there was an artifact in the forest called the Bloom Shard. was the only thing stopping a vast horde of undead from uh, busting through the surface and killing everyone and eating their faces. And now there is the Bloom Shard no more because Goward, that's his name? Yep. Yes. Yep. Fucked off with it. And I'm not drunk. I had one glass of milk. 
And uh, we've been tasked by the Fairy Queen, and I swear to God I'm not making this up. <laughs> we've been tasked by the Fairy Queen to go and find it, bring it back, so the undead legions don't rise from the earth and uh, murder everyone. Any questions? Probably and I, as the cleric, can say that the Fairy Queen is real. He's like... Baldagar is like cleaning his feathers. Uh, <laughs> did I miss anything? No, I, you got it. I think I need to sit down. <laughs> and he like, takes a seat on the pew. Um, at this point, the Drindus from the side sort of speaks up and says, so let me see if I understand this. This Garwood has taken this bloom shard yes. and we need to have it returned. Yes. Yes. Um, so... This sounds like the kind of thing that the proper authorities should handle this matter. Yes! Go at, for it. At this over, at this over, Beth Clark pipes up and says, like, Oh yes, that sounds like a capital idea. I shall um, write to the Baron at once and request that he ask this coward chap to return the shard. That's not going to work. He almost didn't give my books back. He's <laughs> not going to cooperate. He's a bad library lender. <laughs> bad, bad He's library. He's bad through and through. So, um, I'm going to steal your character for a moment. So, um, He's been watching you the whole time, by the way. Okay. So, uh, Ergen says... So then, sorry. The Drinder says, uh, in the, but if we go after Gawad, then what of the town's defensive... I am but one man. I cannot look after this whole town and defend from an undying horde. You don't seem oh, quite no. capable uh -uh. at it. I did. No, we um, are very capable. <laughs> uh, we are capable. Uh, we have, however, <laughs> been given a quest by a fairy queen, which I think over... Is that a higher authority than Sheriff? I think, I think so. Be. So Ergen so. so will look towards you, Crack. And he'll say, I don't know, you can say it in your accent because it was quite good. But he'll say that um, he agrees with you for once. Uh, the town defences, the town defences <laughs> are important, but we cannot wait for bureaucracy to recover the shard. And we should send yes, guys. a delegation to recover the shard immediately. Um, Baldegar lost track. So, um, <laughs> bureaucracy bad. So, Olva so so like, is then like, the well, so, <laughs> going. so, like, sort of like Father Bouquet, you yes. think you think you should you should go and collect this shard, and we should not wait for the authorities. Yes, I and believe as do you, we are very capable okay. that uh, <laughs> we can go find the bloom shard, and you should, but uh, Drindus, you think they should. Day and defend the town first. And it ruined us. And mm -hmm. I, I would love to send a, a, a missive to the Baron. It would be such an honour. Uh, what did the rest of you... Uh, crack, you think you should go by the Fae Queen. What if we just gave Gawain to the Fae Queen? Maybe that would satisfy her and she would stop spending these skeletons at us. Okay, um, that's... That's not at all what I said. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're just to interject and yeah. say, I wouldn't advise ritual sacrifice. I also wouldn't, uh, not because it's evil, but because it's fucking stupid. And also, the Fae Queen is disappeared into a bunch of rose petals. That was yeah, the other she's thing. Yeah. Uh, Goward also murdered the Fae Queen, and I swear to God, this sounds like a comic book story. I, it, 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 it happened. There were rose petals, it was very dramatic. It's very dramatic. Rose petals! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> rose petals, rose petals. <laughs> so all this is okay. Okay, okay, fine. So, um, you four shall go and find this scoured chap and you shall bring the shard back. Very well. Ergon and Adrindus, you shall stay and defend and prepare the town defences. Um, uh, we all are agreed on that, then. I think so, everyone. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. I agree. I think and how, I how exactly are we going to defend the town? Well, I tell you one thing that you could do is, um, it turns out, um, 
I lived in this, I don't know if you know, I lived in this forest for years. I didn't realise there were fucking fae queens and stuff in it. But apparently there's a whole fae ecosystem just living in the forest. A ficosystem. A fae fae? Ergen chips up and he says they always get well, so <laughs> I, I'm aware of that now. Um, um, what are they so called? A circle of the spore. Circle of your circle yeah. of the spore, right? I circle of the and moon. your circle of well, the moon, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, you also druid. Oh. Yes, he's the head druid of the town that rejected you to be his disciple. Remember? How is it? Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys have like a love-hate relationship. Oh, okay. Mostly hate. That's yeah. why he was watching it all. Frenemies. Okay. Yeah. yeah, frenemies. I get you. Um, um, so, well, yeah. Um, so, there's all of these fae in the forest. Maybe they would be willing to help, given as it's their task on the line. Also. So, Olver looks to you, Ogun. He's like, so, you, you, you could speak to these fae, maybe? Have them help us? We are well allied. Tell them cracks then, too. Very good. Um, and then at this, Adrindus pipes up. He's like, I would suggest that we also assemble a town guard. Um, you are the only ones who have fought these uh, creatures so far. Given our constraints, I could either focus on numbers or skill. What would you Ooh, suggest? Like a game game. Numbers. What would you suggest? <laughs> I could. We could reasonably train competency at maybe six. Uh, obviously, the Hindel um, triplets won't be able to use the sawmill anymore. We could maybe use Remington. And there's maybe two others. So there are about six that I could ready available men. But to train six would take quite some time. If I focus my energy on, say, three, I could get three competent men. Maybe the just triplets, the three triplets. Though. Not that you would not recommend the triplets, Mr. Beldegar, Mrs. Beldegar. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, we're sleeping on their shoulder. <laughs> Tell but, me. Yeah, uh, not the trip that they're Ergon being powerful and um, magical, um, he's not going to fight, but would he be able to erect some type of barrier in some section of the village? So, Ergon does have some spells, and so he proposes that he could either erect a wall, like you suggest, but it would take about a week to get the wall done, or he could prepare a feast, right, which is essentially a hero's feast, mm. for whoever the town's guardsmen end up being. And that would be his, like, arcane allotment. For the I day. think he'll go for that one and just say that he's going to um, uh, give them a blessed mm. meal. Food supplies will be short with you gone as the hunter, so you'll ensure to their food I... security. Jokes on them, only... all the food I was bringing them was mushrooms to begin with. It's not a lot of nutritional value. But... <laughs> okay, no so... Um, <laughs> My mushrooms bring on the boat. So it's, so it's now like the sun is officially set now. It's dark outside. And it's like, all right then. So, so Elvis like, oh, well, great. So we have a plan of action. Wonderful. Ogun, you shall start making the feasts and go and speak to those fey things. Perhaps you can give them an offering. Um, Adrindus, what did we agree? You would train three or six? We didn't agree in the end. Oh. We didn't discuss it. I okay. think three. I think we should do the triplets. Come on. They were pretty shitty. Not the triplets, though. Other triplets. We don't have other triplets. How <laughs> many triplets are there in this place? Um, I mean three others. That's not the triplets. Yes, keep the triplets. I mean, the triplets are strong. They're just dumb. Oh, yeah, so they could fight. That's Adrindus good. pipes up and says, I think they would make fine... Uh, towns. For, yeah, for we can train. Guard, like, what are they? Town guards. Yeah, town guards. So, I think so, they yeah, make fine town guards. I was like, father. So I shall take the three. I shall take the three tri Hindu triplets under my wing then. Good. He luck. looks towards the <laughs> <laughs> I just made a species pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? <laughs> species pack. Oh, I heard species pie. I was like, <laughs> Are you still hungry? <laughs> I'm always hungry. Okay, um, so she'll, I shall go and inform the rest of the villagers. Um, uh, Ergon, you then leave to go get things prepared. Idrinda says, I shall go and speak to the Hindal triplets. And as he's leaving, he says, one last thing. Before you leave, perhaps you can talk to the smith also. Um, we shall most likely need his services. Um, 
uh, track, I believe you are able to communicate with him. A gift I do not have. I don't know. I, 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 I sign like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, um, all right, so they've all left. I don't know if there's anything At over. this point, um, Ergon leaves, and he just does this as he exits. Uh-huh. And in front of you, a sudden a bouquet of flowers sprout, uh, sprout from your um, hand. Motherfucker. It's not in the money leaves. Every time. <laughs> Prick. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so you got the left the flowers and again. And after, uh, I, I throw the flowers down, and then I, like, before I leave, I pick them up again. It's like, Where did you get those? They're nice. Shut up. <laughs> they're noise. They're, they're beautiful <laughs> dandelions. <laughs> oh <laughs> God! <laughs> you be careful with that bouquet. He'll do well, all unspeakable what, things to what, it. What, what, what's your bouquet, <laughs> Ian? What's his bouquet? Oh yeah, we really have different things. Mm-hmm. And is yours like wildflowers and stuff? Uh, no, yeah. Daisy. Everything, everything well, you've, you've done so far has been like daisy, daisy, daisy rosemary, um, rosemary is a herb, lavender is a herb. And what's yours? If they have flowers. It's going to be tiny flowers. It's, it's so tiny flowers. A water lily. One of those nice white and yellow water lilies. Like oh, okay, so I was like, oh, that's nice. Where'd you get those? Nothing. Enough. Is that the kind of like, like oh, that's nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like flowers. Oh, I like flowers. <laughs> I'm generally interested in the way you got them because I would like to get for myself. But you're, for your you being a dream as well, you can read those script messages, encrypted messages. For his oh, there, is there, is there a message uh, you both have, you can both speak druid tongue or whatever yes, it is. And there's one druid uh, encrypted druid. into this flower Aww. that only you can see, she can see. Okay, and send him a message. Yeah, no, secretly. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's nothing. It's just a love note. Yes. Oh. Is it? Just, just something a, of. It's just a careful. dick pic. It's a druidic <laughs> dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dick check pick. out my stamen. Hey, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, 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 you you were like my gruff dad, basically. But my my gruff dad that I hate, but I always use my dad. Like your dad or your daddy? My dad. Okay. You like <laughs> not every. Oh. Okay, here's your dad. He's my well, he's like he's not my actual dad, Kurt. Or maybe he is. He's, ooh, maybe he is. But we don't know. Yeah. What did you do? What, what, what uh, an orphan race. maiden? So he is a half Oriad, I think. Uh, so what's he, the other half? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, oh no, I'm Ergen's cool. a dwarf. Ergen's oh. a dwarf. Who has a little ram called Betsy, half by the way. Half, what? He's got a what? He would have been riding them. <laughs> a little mountain, a little mountain ram, you know, like a sheep with a curved horn. Guys, called Betsy. guys, we Betsy. solved the mystery. He's half orc, half um, dwarf. dwarf. No one ever specifies what the other half is. Yeah, that's true. And one sixteenth Native that American. Ex- that explains <laughs> why he's so sh- she's so short. And like normal I, size. Not yeah. actually normal that size. short. I'm just like human size. Yeah. Um, short for a half elf. Half orc. <gasps> um, orc that's big, dwarf that's small. They combine to make medium. Don't even try and picture <laughs> the logistics of that. Um, we have a medium now? Okay. What's going on? So you guys are in the chapel. Everyone's left. You've agreed you're going after Gowen. Normal. It's night time now. Can it's we see? Time. Okay, I, I think I it would be a good thing sleepy. to go and prepare and go sleep. Because, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I've had a really long day. Okay. Same. I, I sp- <laughs> spent two <laughs> spell <laughs> slots, second level spell slots, and two first level spell slots. And a good I excuse. Uh, so by the way, but did you die? Yes, what's happened to Remy? So you heard everything. Okay, well, 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 <laughs> and you guys all agree, and you agree that Ergen's perimeter will not include the mill. It'll cut that off because that's obviously dangerous. And Remington would have heard that. Yes, but Remington has all of his money mm-hmm. with him. Mm-hmm. And he's way too scared to go back or anything like that. So he's going to wait. And, for, for that matter, this is the most um, dangerous part of the village. I mean, this the mill. Uh, for the him. Mill. Yeah. Yes. So he's going to try and figure out how he's going to survive otherwise. 
Because there's nothing I mean, he can do about it. I think for now he can just lay his head low. You can also lay Let's say he meets up with the mayor a little bit later on. Okay. Alone. Okay. Cool. Alone. Um, <laughs> roll, a, roll a persuasion check. What are going to try and persuade uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the, uh, some people to be <laughs> left? <laughs> and he's going to use some money. <laughs> okay, what's your bonus that you're adding to it? Okay, you're looking to be the three. So <laughs> probably <laughs> fine. All this, all this quite impressionable. <laughs> yeah, so you true. managed to convince him to include the sawmill as part of the town and that all defences should include the sawmill as part of the town. I love how Alvis is just a fucking idiot. He is, <laughs> yeah, but that was the agreement that you guys chose. No, 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 no. I, 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 um, so, I, so, I, so this part. Okay, but not the actual bit of the forest. No, I mean, he's trying to say as well. Okay, so he just wants to protect his assets, essentially. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, Which um, includes the, the three brothers. Yeah. On, on the way... Oh, out, so he doesn't want the three brothers to no. be town guards. Guys, I think for us to bond, we, we must... should have said that like, um, Make another persuasion check. Like like Are you adding any bonus? No. I don't know what okay. I mean, there's more people. In like, just like... It's like <laughs> 11. <laughs> what did you get? Eight. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I no. There are like croutons <laughs> and things on the floor. My dear boy, I could include him in the defense of it. I am afraid the Hindle triplets would have to be the town's guards. We agreed. I don't, I don't think Ergen listens to reason as like, much like as I... Like, I can put us all to uh, bond. We should all, like, have a... Mm. Did the same um, by the way, he's going to... Like um, where can he heal up? No, he did, but now he, he just sleeps. sleeps. Like, he'll just sleep at all. But he could I'm ask Hogan to heal him because he's a druid. He could ask. Um, can we talk about flowers? Time Rosemary Bouquet yeah. to heal him because he's the like cleric flowers. of the town. Yes. Who is yeah. closest now? Uh, well, Time Rosemary Bouquet is probably still in the chapel. Because Ergen has left. And Ergen has left. And you're outside there. But this has happened later. So, yeah, so, so you. Caught up with Olga, you could go back to time or you could keep going. Okay, Speaking you, of time. Yeah, should we call that after this? Yeah. Okay, so are we going to take a long rest so we can do that? You now, spend the so night. Yes. Beldegar is already asleep. Getting ready to. Yeah. Getting but ready now, to. Where does Remington stay? Remington <laughs> stay. <laughs> probably in the end. He has his house probably somewhere. He probably does, actually. Yeah, he probably has his house there. Also. He won't go back. So he won't go back, but he can stay in the den. He has gold. He, he's now figured out that he's lost a few pieces of gold in the running away. <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll leave it there for the evening with you guys all getting ready to depart Elgar's Rest to Chase Goward. And yes. like, as we leave, I think Crack is going to be saying, like, you guys can also leave. That might be a good idea too. <laughs> like, I don't, Dude, know the folk. I don't know if staying here with the Horde of the Undead is necessarily the best thing that you could be doing with your time. <laughs> you can <laughs> take your statue. Rosemary uh, Bouquet. You can make a, <laughs> we'll you make you make a persuasion yeah? check next time. <laughs> where's where's um, Remington? He's in the inn. So he in one was, of the back rooms. He was eavesdropping. He went and spoke to Olva. And then he went to time. Did we level? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, he just leveled. Yeah. Why am I asking just a guy? It was a massive oh. skeleton. Yes, I thought it was. a big skeleton. Fucked a massive skeleton. Killed me. Wow. I didn't fuck it. You gained some experience from being...